Good evening, lads. And a good evening, boys. And we'll see how long it takes for Mono Green uh, Boobaloids to start spoiling the day. But it's a new set and a new shmeebsh. And everybody knows what that means. It means a full revolution in the world of magic. Like, hey, it's literally the exact deck that I said. No changes, no anything. Worst thing to play against. Absolute Choco Leibniz balls. But, boys, that's Majinx. And that is the kind of people who play Majinx. Fucking dweebs. So, I mean, that's not good enough, really. I'm just, I don't know. We'll see. Like, what's the point? You know, <laughs> literal game one, and you're already saying to yourself, what is the point of even attempting to play this shit anymore? But, we love it, really, don't we, Lance? Of course we do. It's a new set. New set, new stuff, eh? Right, buddy? And before you say, what about you, Cheeks? I do indeed have new cards. So this is another thing that I'm not playing this. I'm, I'm just all right. Yeah, I don't know. I got deep plops in my hand. Uh, it's so balls. Like, already this thing is going to be wanking. The thing I was going to say is that this deck and Lotus Cobra, they always have this on two in exactly the same way that every mono white dweeb has Esper Sentinel on turn one. Hang on a sec. Ooh, saved everybody for double maximum schneezy boys. You should be grateful. Lance. All right, I think we put that back just to slow it down for a second. You know what I mean, Lynch? So one more sweeper might put me in a solid spot of magic, but we will have to see. We will have to see, boys. But you know, it's just not my kind of magic. This load of shit. But. Like I say every day. We love the magic. Anyway, so Mana Drain is in. Mana Drain is in because it's totally busted. Uh, I don't know why wizards were like, boy, sh slapping up all the tubes in the first place, but... Here we are. Lads. Playing magics like an absolute bunch of lads. So, we went over this yesterday. You should never play this and then not immediately follow it up with a land. So, he can't. So, some of you might have seen that and thought, why didn't you wait till he cast this and then do the shits? But if you do that, this resolves. Play a land. The land doubles. That means next turn, regardless of whether this gets blown up or not it costs the same so if you can put all that together in the end it means magic is eights and it's played by dweebs with eights okay boys okay sweet all right oh we needed me bleach bleebly i needed another wrath i could regrowth it I could regrowth it. Oh, discard a card. I suppose we could throw a land. Oh, it tapped my blue. Thanks, Dad. So, Cyclonic Rift or Deplops? We'll go... Uh, we'll go Rift. It gets you out of more jams, I suppose. I suppose, boys. So, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll play Kiora and hope for the best. Okay, boys. Okay, sweet. So that's another four, three lands by basically playing zero magics. This guy is extremely good at a game of Magic the Gathering, obviously, boys. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Okay. You know, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's play this. Try and put this guy to bed. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. Gotta do it on the fucking schmeebly boys, otherwise are you even doing magic? Put the guy to bed. Uh -huh. Now migration path. Now next turn I could just omniscience and do everything. Which is good magic's boys. Yes, this please. Jesus. Jesus, Lance. I'm just trying to play a bit of magic. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands, and this thing. But we'll have to be able to do something about that before it gets a little bit hairy. You know what I mean? What I mean, Lynch? Oh, he shuffled that way. That's good. So, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana for me. Good job this costs ten mana because now I might be able to touch my balls. Unbelievable shits. Unbelievable shits, Lynch. Flood of Tears, also pretty good. Ugh, I got the sniffles properly. I might actually have to blow my nose before this starts sounding like a Philbo stream. Alright, what are we doing, our boys? Putting these two to bed? I could play Flood of Tears again and then just replay my hand. I do like that play if I'm honest. So approach, I think approach is right this time. In which case, I think we can ditch Tamio and then just pay the cost later. A green lance. Probably. Probably, but we will see. We will see, boys. Someone else, Reefle of Funk, in the chat. Did I watch the Champions League? I did. Who's you're my favourites now? I mean, Real Madrid are literally... Li I mean, everybody says it. They are just... They're the chosen ones of that competition. Should have lost 3-0 today. Jammed a penalty shootout. So, I mean, you got to always choose them, I suppose. The other side, PSG also got sort of lucky. With that red card. But they look a bit ropey. He got them Bapaloids. Everybody can do something with a pair of bats. If you don't want them shaking, Lynch. So. I think you got to go Real Madrid. They got a solid squad. They managed to redress the fact that everybody's getting a bit old. And it should be. GG should be Lynch. She is Tamio. Honor to meet you. I have developed a new Mm-hmm. Okay. So if I do this, look at the top four cards. You may reveal a non-creature non land. So I should find it, right? Right it. Is that the end of the game for the beans? Unbelievable dog shit. Lance! I don't know about you. But that new set just breathed totally new life into this dull shit game. Absolutely incredible scenes. It w it was it's like a different game. It's like we're playing something else. Boyish. It's like we're playing something else. Absolutely unbelievable breakage.
And before anyone says your deck looked the same, my deck was always super unique builds. And there are new cards in there, we just didn't draw them. Because of the memes. But now the chat is absolutely pulping off. We've got five people in here, Lynch. I think it's time to buy some picks, open some cards, have a look at this little cheeky lad's face, and then complain that this game's actually balls, and then play Leisure Suit Larald or something else. So what am I actually doing? Oh. First things first, boys. This should be free magics. On on and wobbly lads, although they're technically not wobbly. Wait, look how good wizards are to us, boys. They ruin their own game, push aids down our balls, have sexy fuck boys for no reason, but not any boobly each. Because that's what 38-year-old men like, isn't it? But they gave us three packs. And some the extra lands. Look at all these lands. Anybody who tells me that wizards aren't the good guys, obviously, you might be a bit of a shitler. But, anyway. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, boy, how about these? I mean, it is a new set. And I don't know about you. But for every new set, why wouldn't you want to buy Wobbly Boys? On the plus side, at least these are all the right color. It does get on my nerves, genuinely. You know, I like to I like to play up how much I'm annoyed. But it does get on my nerves when white lands are blue or red. That, that is a bit age. Only five pounds for some emotes, boys. Only eight more pounds for one of these. For one of these, uh, miladies. And you know Magic loves a good uh, soy boy milady. What else we got? Braska. Literally, she was made of metal like six weeks ago. I've got no explanation of why she isn't now. Legs came back. Everything. Easy quacks. Looking pretty sexy, though, to be honest. Then we got Fuckboy McGee. Unbelievable shits. Oh my god, boys. We've got like a little pony horse. And it makes a noise. Unbelievable. That's part of the Mastery Pass, so I suppose that's value, if you want to say... Seven human pounds and fifty British pence for some wobbly boys. Wobbly boys. You use paper plates to save time in your busy life. There's thanks for the two beautiful British dollars. Of course, I use paper. I never used to. I used to use ceramic plates because it gave off the air that you wasn't a tramp. But, after seeing our Lord and Saviour Philbo Baggins... Oh, double two-for-one specials. You use paper plates to save time in your busy life. After seeing our boy Philbo Bagginos have no ceramics in his house because his fat wife broke the dishwasher and no one can be bothered to clean up. I just think that's right, boys. I don't even know why he uses paper plates. Why not just eat off the floor? Why not just dump a bucket on the table and just scoff that fucking obese face and go straight to bed? No need for a shower either, because that's unnecessary use of water. Easy quick. What are these eights? Trans bungle font. Oh, wizards are very keen on that shit. Molten Duplomacatos. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature you control. Except it's an artifact in addition. It gains haste, but you do have to Myrtle Beans it at the end. I don't know. I think that's pretty strong. Similar Crim Synthesizer. When this and are these new cards then? These are not. Are these new? Why has it got a symbol like uh, the Starship Enterprise? I don't know, I guess they're new. How many different new wobbly aids are we got in the same set? Lotus Ring is not new. No one's given me that age. Oh, I wonder, do you not get these? Are these just wobblies? 
You know, you don't even. Oh my god, you guys are the fucking stupidest bitches. These are just wobblies. You don't get any of these cards. Incredible stuff. So I don't know what's legal or anything. All right, then we're back into some shit. All right, boys. I don't know about you. Everything looks unbelievable value. Only like 100 beans. And that's before you even get a card. Unbelievable stuff. 100 beans. And you still have no cards. Wizards are the best. All right, what are we buying? Packs. 10 mythic packs. Get my balls. Another 10 mythic pack for the memes, lads. You know I like mythic packs. I like that we get a 0% discount. 0% discount on 45 packs. That is not the Costco way. If I go into Asda and I say, how much is one bottle of eights? And they say it's a pound. And then I say, what kind of discount? If I buy 45 bottles of eights. And they go, it's the same. Boish. I mean, whiz bangs are the best. 25% off wobbly lands. 0% off the things that you use to play the game. That, I mean, these guys are just market. Even 90 is no deals. Except you get two wobbly boys. Rares as well. Not even mythics. Unbelievable boys. I, uh, wizards are just the best. They, sh they need to fire another 1,100 peeps the week of Christmas and hire more of their mates because they've chopped their dicks off and then just have a huge commander wank fest every Friday instead of doing any work. Which actually happens because wizards are the greatest. All right, do I want another 10? I mean, there's no rush. We'll just open these now. All right, golden pack. Someone in my, I think it was Rockno, in my own Discord, got four mythics in his one. We got to match some random man off the street. Oh, only two. What an absolute scam. Archmage's Newt. Whenever this deals combat damage to a player... Target instant or sorcery card in your grave gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, what's the word? Time warp stays in your grave. That's pretty solid. That card gains flashback zero until end of turn if this guy is saddled. Saddled is what? Tap any number of other creatures you control with power shits. This mount becomes shadowed. All right. I mean, that's pretty solid. I mean, I guess it's built to be played in draft or standard. But I'm sure legs can crack any matter and go 18 and 0 in Pioneer. Well, not really Pioneer, because he might have to play some real opponents. But maybe on Arena. Something, some other shit. Calamity Age. What does this do? Six mana haste. Whenever this attacks, while saddled, choose a non-legendary land that's saddled at this turn and create a tapped attacking token that's a copy of it. Sacrifice that token at the beginning of the next end step. Repeat this process once. Not gonna lie, boys. That's far too many words for me to understand. Uh, I'm sure someone could smash me up with it later. Memory Vessage. Exile Memory Vessel. Each player exiles the top seven cards of their library until your next turn. Players may play cards they exile this way, and they can't play cards from their hand. Ooh, interesting means. Only as a saucy, though. And a Millennium Bollocks. Okay. So these are my regular packs, and these are my Mythic packs. So everybody knows Mythics are the best because they go in your Brawl decks. So let's see what we got. We'll open 10. We'll add anything that looks sexy to any decks. And then we'll play some games. We'll moan about Mono Green being the same. Then we'll check out Lewis Stardust's tits. And then we'll talk about Commander being for dweebs. And then that's that. 
Hey, boys. Two mana planies, eh? You can't cast this during your first, second, or third turns. Draw a card, then discard a card. Exile a non-land card with mana value three or less from your hand. If you do, it becomes plotted. Applied cards may be cast as a sorcery on a later turn without paying their cost. That's pretty good. Until end of turn, whenever you cast a spell, copy it. That's also pretty solid, Lynch. Pretty solid. I suppose I could crowbar in this, you know, just to see, just to sheesh. Force the Vigor. If it's not your turn, you may exile a green card from your hand rather than pay this spell's mana cost. Everybody loves free spells. Destroy up to two target artifacts and enchantments. Boish. That's pretty good, right? The fact it's one of these, and it looks like a bank vault, makes me think this is probably one of those sex bomb cards. Hmm. We'll see about putting that in. Certainly think about that. What else we got? Fling. Oh, so I got a bonus mythic. Oh, so you get one of these every thing. I, I get what you mean. As a, yeah, 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 we all know what fling is. I don't know what any of these are, and I don't think I'll be reading them. Gold vein hydra bob. Hang on, I need to blow my nose. I don't know what's the matter with me. I'll be back in a minute. Ugh, I really think I'm getting a cold. I wonder how that has happened. I don't think we got colds anymore. Especially in the start of spring. That's unfortunate. Or maybe it's the stress of all the big decisions I have to make behind the scenes. Ah, anyway. Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. When this enters the battlefield, well, yeah, yeah. When it dies, create a number of tapped treasures. Oh, man. That guy's a bit of a mad lad, with especially with haste. Hmm. Although Hydras traditionally never make it into any decks. Humiliate. Reveal their hand, choose a non land card from it. And that player discards that card to put a one one counter on your balls. I don't think that's that good. I also like the fact that these are all colourless so that you don't actually know what the fuck they cost. Tiny balls. One mana. Death touch. Whenever Tiny Balls the pickpocket deals combat damage to a land, you may cast target non-land permanent card from that player's grave. Mana of any type can be spent to cast that spell. Pretty solid, boyish. I'm sure we'll see a lot of broad decks without fucking eight. <sighs> Heartless Pillage. Target opponent discards two cards. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, who's look at this fat bitch? Overzealous muscle. Whenever you commit a crime during your turn, this guy gains indestructible. For a common, that seems pretty solid. In a draft. You get each. Geralf the Fleshlight. Whenever you cast a spell during your turn... Why so much fucking words? Whenever you cast a spell during your turn, other than your first spell... Create the 2 2 blue black zombie token. Whenever a zombie enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1 1 counter on it for each other zombie that entered the field under your control this turn. Why are they such beefsters? Even the zombies are fuckboys now. 
Look at that, lad. You know Aidzonian is going to be talking shit about how he's got so many hands and he'll always find a place for one of those weird fingers. He's also got an electrified knob. Look at that. He's literally pissing electricity. Unbelievable stuff. Girls are, get everything in this fucking game now. Where's Mrs. Fat Tits? The bawdy entrepreneur in the backhouse waterway shit district. If I don't see that, see, this is what we get instead. Literally covered up to our fucking eyeballs. Unbelievable leech. Assimilation, Aegis. There's so much writing, it's become miniaturized. When this enters a battlefield, exile up to one target creature until this leaves the field. Whenever this becomes attached to a creature, for as long as Assimilation Aegis remains attached, that creature becomes a copy of equipped creature. All right. That seems pretty good. So... As I understand it, in my limited capacity of being able to read, this is like Oblivion Ring, but an artifact, and then you also equip it, and it becomes a copy of the thing that you exiled. Which is pretty good. Maybe. Okay, Fierce Retribution. Destroy target attacking creature. Or for six, destroy a single lad. Another flashlight. Okay. This lad. When this enters the battlefield, surveil to hmm, repulse. Return target creature to its owner's hand. Draw a card for three. Hmm. That's right in the middle of a regular two-mana bounce and a two-mana bounce with two-mana kicker. So it's probably better, I would imagine, but also get eight. Another Jace. How many cards are in this set if I'm getting doubles already? Clear shit. How is this so much worse than the other ones? Territory Forge. When Territory Forge enters a battlefield, if you cast the Exile Target Artifact or Land, Territory Forge has all activated abilities, so you can't blink this and just keep exiling lands. But it's super shit otherwise. I think this is for Commander, because there can't be enough interesting lands to make that worthwhile. Buried in the Garden. I wonder what Peepers just got buried out the back. All his old pornos that he pretends he doesn't dig up every Tuesday when he gets bored. Oh, uh, what the fuck? This is, there's, I'm getting too many doubles of shit cards. Hindering light. These look awful as well. They look fucking shit. Final shit down. All creatures... Oh, this is the sweeper I saw. So, five, six, seven, eight. For eight mana, one of your lads gets indestructible and you can blow everyone else up. That's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, even that seven to knock one of those off is a lot. All right, there's a couple of regular packs. Uh, there's nothing. I didn't open anything I could put in any decks. Yep, nice. That is actually nice, but, you know. Ride down, yeah, we know what that is. Thing of shit, bollocks. Flying tramps. Seven, seven for four. Oh, what's going on here? Gets minus one for each card in your hand plot. That's unbelievable. This has got to be top quality shit. So, as I understand, plot it on turn three, play your game, and then when you've got no cards left, just bang this out for zero mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Well, we'll see if that ever actually gets played like that. I mean, you've got to wait for the pros to really let you know what's a good deck, because at this stage, 
every dim-witted YouTube twat like the Quack Watson will show you any deck that fully crackers the meta, but they're all shit. So you do have to wait. Or just experiment yourself, boys. Like the first time you ever had a girl in your room and neither of you knew what you were doing. And you were like, well, surely this fits in your ass. Where else is it going to go? Hell to pay deals X damage to target lead. Create a number of tap treasure equal to the amount of excess damage. That is that good? I don't know. Everyone likes treasures. But, uh, you know, it might be eight. Double mythic! That's what we like to see, boys! That's what we like to see. Okay, that's... I could do anything with that. Indomitable Creativitoire. Why does that look like a Fallout card? Like one of those Fallout booklets. Anyway, this is a uh, well-known eight. Mm -hmm. Skewer the shits, okay. Oh, that looks a bit like Tropoly Boy. But it's not. Brush Wag Bell. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1 1 counter on target land. Whenever this guy attacks while saddled, double the number of 1 1 counters on target creature. Mm. I mean, that might be busted, but that's not my style. Okay, boys. I can't say any of those cards gave me the horn at the moment. So, let's just have a few more games and then open a few more packs. And then anybody got any ideas about anything else, we can have a shit. Cruel Ultimatum is in this set. Is that true? I mean, I don't think it's good. Compared to the other Ultimatums, it's, it's weak. But it is in the bubble's colours. So, you know, if I see one, I'll put it in. If I see one, I'll put it in until it gets boring. Then we'll take it out and we'll blame everyone. Then we'll die of AIDS. Then we'll say GG's XDs. All right. Wrath of God. That's all I ever need. It, I, there's been a lot of talk on Twitter about, even from, uh, even from the Slanks, boys, that... They took away... This is Taser, yeah. They took away Taser's boob window. Every set, she gets less and less sexy because it is magic for gathering. Boy. And if there's one thing we all should know about magic for gathering, it's that you are allowed any number of fuckboys, but only, only one pair of boobs across the multiverse. That's how it works. So we've got Settle the Eights, which I don't know if you know, boys, is good meat. But we are also under the yoke of oppression in being selfless bitch. Maybe going to cause me some problems. So these treasures... No, they're clues. One shoe and one tree with some knives in it. So who was cracking the meter, boys? Okay, so we got Settle the Wreckage. Is this guy going to be able to play around Settle the Aids, or is he going to die of Aids? I guess we'll see, Lance. Very suspicious not to cast your Zer, but we'll see if he knows what that means. Nice wobbly lands for a wobbly bitch. Let's see, boys. He's taking too long. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. He doesn't know what's up. He's got AIDS. Unbelievable stuff. Incredible Spotomagic. He took a little bit too long there, and I thought he was going to sniff out the meech. But he didn't, because those memes were unsniffable. Although he does have a lot of mana now, as you can tell. Well, what are we doing? What are we doing, boys? Okay, so 
I imagine Sir's gonna get quacked here, but it's not a big problem. Then follow up. If he's got a lot of 1-1s, one we'll play this. If he has got a lot of 6-6s, six we'll play this. Okay, boys. Okay, sweet. That's a tough one. I might just get drained to death. But we should be... Eh, there's stuff, you know. We could be able to get some lifelink, but because he's got so much excess mana, he's probably capable of casting a spell. So we'll have to see what happens, boys. Cruel Ultimatum is definitely in. Has been confined by the Land Slim. Wrath of God on a 1-1. One -one. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. The land is absolutely throwing, boys. Eleven mana, though. And creatures cost one less. Oh, my lord. I don't know how we're going to get out of this. Except kill everybody immediately. Obviously. Gonna moidles everybody instantly, boyish. Uh, maybe Wrath of God is better. Let's see, what does this do? Sacrifice another creature or artifact, each opponent gets eight. Alright! Two can play at the blow ups game. So I could get Heliod. Or I could play Flimmy Jibs. What do you think? Um, I think we'll just get Heliod. Okay, boys. Let's see. So I don't want to get drained. And I feel like if I waste too much time, that will happen. You know, it is my style to be faffing around. Eleven HP. All right. Well, now I'm just in huge trouble. Okay. Well, Wrath of God wouldn't have helped uh, against this, but I think the power of having age is probably going to be too strong for me. Wouldn't you agree, boys? So I need two mana. <laughs> Alright. Probably looking down the barrel of being a dead land. But we did have a wonderful time. We did have a wonderful time, boys. So I'm just trying to see. So if Zer gets killed, I should have chosen this because this will be sacrificed. So if Zer gets killed, this will still be a creature. And I take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is dead. So I'm probably dead. But you do never know, boys. You do never know how a game of Majik might turn into a game of Majik. We'll see. Okay, very high chance of getting drained out of my balls. We got a farewell. We got a farewell in the deck. That might be able to shave my balls, but that will only be the only bully bully bollocks, boys. That'll be the only thing that it could do. Alright, so we have to block this way, otherwise I'll die. Okay, he's gone for the wrong choice. I'm going to just flat say that's wrong. He's probably killed himself. Oh no, they all die. Alright, so he's probably actually won. We'll see. Something interesting has definitely happened though.
Oh, am I going to get drained out of my balls? I think I die. I think I die to the... I think I die to this. But that was, uh... That was good. It was good on his part. It was good on his part if he saw the line. Because I was excited that I was going to get a load of lance. But I did die, boys. To exactly what I suspected might happen. Which was just... Thinking I could claw my life back later on and it'll be fine. But it wasn't. Slim said, Pope scammed us last night. I had to watch Phil on his stream and uh, get wrecked. I mean, I would never, ever watch Philbo's direct feed. you got to watch Raw Phil, even though the picture quality is dog shit. But yeah, it did worry me. Not worry, you know, because we're all eventually going to give up on the time's waste that is Philbo Minos. But the fact that Pope didn't even explain like he's not going to be restreaming and he only restreams Street Fighter and he doesn't cover the dents and he's not interested in, in his own spreadsheet much you do have to think that man is leaving the dent verse which is sad because he was he was great he still is good but a lot of the Philbo mysteries have been unraveled, and it turned out he was just a fat loser the whole time. And it turned out that everybody who seemed interesting, like only Iced Aves and One Minute Squat, were just fucking morons as well. And now that Philbo is the most boring streamer on Earth, unless he's insulting everyone or ranting about things he has no idea about, the whole thing is a waste of time. But, you know, just like Majiks, we'll keep on. Just like Majiks, we'll keep on until it is genuinely the end of the world. And then we can say, fuck it. Where was this bitch a minute ago? Boys, this would have solved all of my problems. That's how you know this game is a scam. Desolator Magic told me. He says the game is coded so well, even the Majiks knows how to do a bit of Majiks. Or something. So I, I don't think you banishing like this. Yeah, we're well, banishing like this and then activate it. Um because it'll just be nothing. Agreed boys! Unbelievable stuff. He wage quit Harold Halibut already. Oh man. I thought about playing that. If anyone wants uh, a Harold Halibut playthrough here, we could do that, boys. We could do a great many things in the world of Majinx. That's what makes it all so wonderful. Okay. So, creatures. Oh, he's missing lands. That's what we like to see, boys. Uneven shit games for the memes. Uneven shit stain games for the memes. Boys. So that works perfectly. Game, like, there's nothing on the underside of this. So if, if this even got Myrtle Beans, nobody would care. Which is beautiful stuff. He could go for the triple blocks. I don't think that's a terrible play. Or the double blocks, even. The single blocks. I don't know. Slim says, I only saw a bit of that game. What the hell is it even? I have no idea. Why the wage quit? He got money yesterday. Yeah, but... We're, get, we're getting a bit of a return to 2019, Phil. Where, obviously, every stream is the same level of absolute shit. But some random man will just turn up with 200 beats. Although, yesterday... 
yesterday, it did. It sounded a lot like Canadian Quack gave him 200. But that's quite a lot for Quack these days. And he was just insulting Phil. And Phil... He, I, it was it was definitely Canadian quack. That's why Phil got two hundred and twenty five dollars from him, but still was a bit like, I don't want it. I'll complain about every cent in the universe, but I don't want your fucking two hundred and twenty. But GG or something. GG. Hey, turn one Esper Sentinel. I'm glad that Whizbangs haven't seen any need to change the code of this game. Right, boyish. It was perfect, and it never needed to be touched. Okay, so if there's one thing I should learn, it's this actually gets out of control. So I shouldn't just let it sit around being a memer. Mm -hmm. I don't think that guy knows what he's doing. That's good for us. Whenever an opponent searches their library, you gain a life and draw a card. I didn't search my library, Sean. You mag? Alright, what are we doing? Wrath of Aids. I do like a Wrath of Aids. Why would you tap my blue land? Why? Fuck it then. <laughs> Fuck it then. Ugh, boyish. Phil getting mad about wearing his vest and hat was funny. That I mean, when he gets entitled, it's always amusing. And that, that was quite funny. Instantly, he was like, I'm already sweating. It's 49 American degrees outside. I'm roasting like a pig. All right. You have to just take your lumps, I guess. Alright, I figured it out. Because this damages you, it always uses that as your lowest priority spell. Look at that. Perfect balance. Perfectly balanced. I am extremely good at magic. He was sweating because of the intense nature of Magic the Gathering. That's true. One, two, three, four, five. He was sweating his balls off, boys, because magic is extremely magic. Oh, I should have, I should have foretold this. Never mind. Never mind, Lance. It should all work out like Rosie O'Donnell's bum, as everything does. Hopefully, he blows up my solemn. Uh, this guy's a mad lad. He could have got rid of this, but instead, he wanted to be a mad lad. Well, I mean, he might have mana tithe. He might have uh, blink spells. You never know, boys. You never know. Hey, Lanch. I'm still playing this. What actually happened? I don't know. I didn't watch any of Phil yesterday. One thing I cannot believe. He's doing a two-hour... Two and a half hour even review of a two and a half human hour review of Fallout. He's just going to sit there talking about it and having a wank. And I don't know about you, boys. I mean, he'll probably get money because anything he does that isn't play video games just completely frazzles the minds of the dents. And it's like, oh, Phil's just sitting there. It, it must be an emergency. He must be under siege from the lads. Who are we stealing? Who or what are we stealing, boys? Draw a card. Activate only if you attack with two or more lads this turn. We'll, we'll steal this. All right. Easy quench. Easy quench, boys. You think he's got settler wreckage? Doesn't matter. Unbelievable siege. Unbelievable aids! How are we going to win this game? I 
how are we going to win this game, boys? Oh, my lord. Imagine playing a reprieve. And then this happens. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable memes. Boys, I love the magic. Incredible scenes. Incredible stuff. Slim says, I'm not watching that AIDS tonight. Oh, that is tonight. I'm not a Fallout fan anyway. Well, I haven't got to the end. So I don't need Phil to just ramble on like an absolute psychotic maniac. Alright. Not gonna lie, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> that's a bit of a... Not a huge problem. But it is a bit of a problem, Lynch. It's a bit of a problem. So who dies? This dies, this dies, this dies, this dies. That's a pretty nice, pretty nice. Alright, we can't have him drawing any more shit. Okay, one HP. Can I force that last bit of damage? So I want four mana open at the end. Which gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana for now. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not, boys. He could just grab Oblivion Ring, or whatever it's called. Or any version of it. Creatures can't attack you. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I don't think that really helps him that much either. Oh, I might be dead. I am dead. He had it all, boys. I'm not dead. Amazing scenes. Alright, we need Wrath of Aids. Otherwise, I might be dead. Oh. Easy wax, boys. Easy wax. You just always gotta relax. Unbelievable scenes. So everything that happened there looked like it could have been excited, but it was all over the place. I think I wasted my removal too soon before it was really dangerous. I felt like I was totally in control the whole time. Then I nearly got run over. And then it was easy to yeesh. Beautiful stuff. Also, zero new cards from anybody. That is exactly what we're looking for. Big shit. Brand new set. Brand new wades. Five games played. No new cards. And people are going to tell me this isn't the most exciting shit. What's this? Welcome to Midweek Magic. This week's event is Phantom Jump. Not even jump in, just jump. Get to let select two different half decks from a variety of themes in alchemy. Why? The, a, a new set came out today. Let us play with some new cards. Nah, nah. have some shit alchemy aids. Lance. Wizards are the best. All right, we'll still do it super quick because the deck plays itself. Oh, no, it is new. All right. Oh, no, it's... Uh, well, I guess these are new, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, boys. I think Wizards actually did a good magic for a change. When this attacks, exile target card from a grave, then investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, you may have Lazav become a lad. Okay. When Prosperity Tycoon enters a battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one red mercenary. With target creature control gets plus one until end of turn. Sack of, that's just, I don't know. Maybe it's good, but uh, fuck it. What about this sexy bitch? As long as it's your turn, mounts and vehicles have sex proof. Whenever a mount or vehicle you control a chick, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. I, I mean, a 2-mana 3-2 three, two is very good. But which which is more likely to be synergistic? Mm. 
Whenever this attacks, exile target card from a grave. Or just a big beefy bitch who's not really that beefy. I don't want to play this. I'm sure some of you are like, Oh, it's actually the best card, Mr. Cheech! But I've got eight. Mounts and vehicles have hexproof. But this isn't a mount or a vehicle. Although she might be both, if you know what I mean, Lynch. Whenever a mount or vehicle you control attacks, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Hmm... Hmm. All right, anyone in the chat, you can choose. Either crimes or mounts. First vote wins, and only if somebody votes within 10 seconds. If not, I'm just going to choose one of the two. And it'll be GG, check, should each. Boyish. All right, recursive coyote says mounts, which is fine. We do like sexy bitches. We could have had double enterings. Unbelievable stuff. So Frontier. When Allo Alchemist becomes plotted, target creature gets plus three and gains trample or powery biffy bitch. Again, this is what we get, lads. The girls get uh, naked Oko and we get beefy horse. Or at least a sexy girl who is totally covered up and doesn't even have D cups. This game is truly finished. Whenever you attack with one or more creatures of power four or greater, create a treasure. Sacrifice a treasure. Jolene bitch gets deals one damage to any target. Uh, let's just grab this shit. Alright, nice and straightforward. Should be easy quick. Should be easy quick, sure boys. So I think Lazav is a good card, but I just don't know how many drafts or, you know, this kind of shit you have where fiddling around with a graveyard ever makes any difference. The Sterling Keykeeper. Mm-hmm. Tap target non-mount. Sheep mount. Whenever this attacks, that's four mana. Death touch. Ankle biter. All right. 1-1 one, one Death Touch has got to be solid beach. Slap it up on the tubes, boys! Unbelievable scene. Lads, hello and welcome to another game of Magic Jewels. As you can see, through the power of my beautiful deck building, uh, I was able to win on the third one. Okay, sweet! Okay, sweet, boys. Okay, sweet. That is the reason Magic the Gathering is the greatest game in the world. Just like chess. I don't know how many times I've sat down to Andrew Tate and said, let's chess it up, lad. And I go, turn one, pawn man to pawn man two. And he fucking flings the table out the window. And then we all go off to his sex dungeon to fuck 15 chained up girls. But they're totally consensual. That's what he's told me. So I'm sure it's fine. Easy quicks. Easy quicks, boys. Alright, which of these do we want to cast? This and then this, probably, because it makes sense. Tap target non mount. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess the story it's telling here. At the beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. That's crazy, right? I didn't read that properly. I thought it I thought it was something else. Yes. Slam it up on the tubes, boys! Two turns, two wins. I love magic. Boys, what a game. What a game this is. I love the magic. Always. I mean, wizards just crack any meter, I guess. What do I get for such a tough, grueling effort? Bumhole the Punisher. 
Whenever you commit a crime, exile up to one target black card from your grave. Uh oh, boys. That does sound like wizards. That does sound like what wizards think crime and, uh, is, is, uh related. Do you know what I mean? You know, I keep the quack out of the office. But we'll make sure he can still send us letters. You know what I mean? Fucking wankers. Whenever you commit a crime, exile up to one target black card from your graveyard. You may cast the copy. If you do, you lose two life. Let me read that one more time. Exile, whenever you commit a crime, which is when you target anything. Exile up to one target black card from your grave, which will be like a Myrtle Beans. Copy it, cast it. Yeah, that's probably fine. I'm sure we'll see this in Brawl soon enough. Alright. One more? One more for the road? Although, hopefully I'm the one who concedes on turn two, so I don't have to deal with any more wobbly shits. Alright, get to go first again. Same, same shit. Betrayal at the vault. Who betrayed who? Whenever this enters a battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. Reveal a mount, creature, card, or a planes card. Alright, I don't know what that does, but we'll figure it out. Dr. Blood, you're right, it is Dr. V. Doctor. I'm sure he also has as sterling as medical qualifications as I do. But my imaginary doctor, it would certainly be of the psychological arts, not in the medical huge. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each of two other lands. Unbelievable. What the hell, boys? Whenever this attacks while saddled, creatures you control gain trample. Okay. Destroy target tapped lead. I mean, I don't know if you block or not. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we did a, a bit of Majinx. No matter what happens from here, Majinx has been called. So what does this do? Whenever it attacks while saddled, saddling, tap any number of other creatures you control with total power, one or more. This mount becomes saddled. Okay, so I do, do I throw it in the bin? Do I throw the land in the bin for two damage and to kill this? It seems wrong. I'm doing it. I just don't care. Okay, boys. Okay, sweet. That's uh, something. That little uh, animation was something, boys. So I'm banking on Betrayal at the Vault going to save me. And also destroy target tap creature if this actually attacks. That's what I'm thinking, boys. But hold your balls. Giant Beaver. Gabby Sparks is Minge on the field, boys. Gabby Sparks is Minge ready to shatter the AIDS. Lads, hold your mom's ass. Hold your mom's anus. Search a library for two basic lands. Put them onto the field tapped. I will take that deal. Okay, boys. What does this do? Whenever this attacks while saddled, create a sheep. Okay. Probably not. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each of two other boys. So I need a bigger lad than this, actually. Hmm. I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'm sure I'll figure it out, boys. 
I am very good at magics, after all. You saw me win two games in two turns. Who could ever suggest that anybody except Jesus could manage such unbelievable siege? Alright, I wish I'd kept that four mana boy now. I mean, yeah, the four toughness thing. I realize I shouldn't have let it get run over. Because he's going to have this card as well. He's going to have this card as well, boys. And it's going to smash my dick in half. But I could tap it down and kill it. That's a, that's a play. Oh, and this is an instant. Okay, boys. All I need is a one tough, one power extra. And we can shatter the meters. One more power to shatter the meter, boys. What happens when this gets saddled? Something else gets, uh... Eight? Mmm, that's a bit of a beefy boy. Uh-oh. What have we got as well, boys? Has he got the pumpy dose? Is this going to be one of those smash bang shits? Is Gabby even still around? She had her baby and then pulled a Yana. She, I mean, she was never in it. She was. I mean, Gabby Smarts was just one of those classic... Uh, Professor Peeper's level charlatans. Shit at magic. Somehow managed to just hang around. Married a Hall of Famer. So that obviously gave her whiz bangs jobs. And now that LSV managed to scam everybody by selling his Channel 8 bullshares, they could just sit in that house and she can act like raising a kid is a 25-hour-a-day job, even though literally trillions of people have managed it without doing it that way. Trash the town. Put two one ones on some boy. Okay. All right, we got to kill that instead. So... The mistake I have made, boys, was allowing this thing to get killed. I thought this was two of your lads deals damage to two of their lads, but that isn't that isn't right. In fact, I am extremely likely to end up dead of the eights. Trash the town for me, though, boys. Oh, we might be able to shatter any meters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can only do this for two. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Okay, here is what can be done, though. First things first, this is going to die. I don't think there's any way that's not the right play. Now, second thing second... All right, they're both instant, so I don't have to do anything. There's no rush, boys. Let's just keep it a squeezy. Keep it squeezy, 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 squeezy. And we might be able to slap it up on the juice. Okay, boys. Okay, sweet. Tap target non-mount. All right. So I can't tap this. Or this. All this! I can't tap anything, I just realized. Okay, boys. We might have to touch our balls. So my only play is trash the town on this, and then next turn try and kill two things. If he's got any answers about anything, then I will end up dead of AIDS. But we'll see. Target creature gains trample until end of turn. Target creature gains whenever this deals combat damage to a player. Draw two cards. So it is a it's a shame. I won't be able to draw two, but killing um, two of the man's lads is probably better. Wouldn't you agree, boys? Well, now I can't do either of those things, so I guess I'm fucked. I guess it's all fucker bollocks now, boys. I can kill these two. I can kill these two as it is. Well, maybe I'll do that then. Put 
put two one one counters on it. Three boys. Oh, no follow up play. Oh, there's this bitch. Whatever it is, but return target permanent card with mana value three or less from your grave to your hand. Four mana boy. All right, Lance. I can totally accept this might go wrong because I'm being a classic memeloid. So what is a saddle? Saddle two. All right. Whoops. That's got first strike. All right. That's got first strike. That's worrying, actually. He might be able to to sweep me. But we will see. Okay. I think I see. So this is only... as the, Oh, it's only as long as it's your turn. All right. Next turn, we're going to shatter the matter. Okay, boys. And if this guy does anything, I'm just going to delete uh, Windows. Man, I've got a full-blown cold. A full-blown cold, lads. And I don't know how that's happened. You know, in this post-COVID era, you always look at someone a bit suspiciously if they've got, like, a mini cough or something. But I haven't seen anything like that. And yet, I am currently getting H. All right. I'm. I know this is an instant, but I'm casting it next turn anyway. Uh. Okay. Alright. So that's definitely attacking. Maybe I should attack with everybody. Nah. Is this a mount? No. So he'd have to block my big bollocks with both of these things. Whenever this end is about... Alright, so that's a 5-5. Five, five. But nothing can fly. Tumble the boy. Whenever this attacks while saddled, it gets plus X. Alright, so these two should ride me all the way to Bumsville. Agreed, Lance! Unless he top decks... This thing, which he definitely has, because we got the same deck. Okay, boys. Let's see if we can't shatter the beautiful British meta once again. Ah, this guy's coming down with an awful lot of aids.
So it's still not in my best interest to attack. Or is it, boys? You know, I think I am ahead enough that I am going to give up my big bollock bollocks. All right, we'll see what he wants to do. All right, I guess I got a 1-1 one -one out of the deal. Look at that sheep, full kamikaze land. Saddle 3. Whenever Congregation Griff attacks while Saddle gets plus X, where X the number of mounts you control, which is 1, 2, buckle my shoe, boyish. Oh. Alright, that just should be a full rampage next turn. I don't see how he doesn't get killed. But 1-1 one, one counter on this... Actually, all right, a 1-1 one -one counter on that is not smart. What do you do? As long as it's your turn, mounts and vehicles have hexproof on every amount of vehicle control attacks, but 1-1 one -one counter on it. All right, perfect. Perfect Majinx, boys. That is what Majinx is about. Time for Billy Rampage Majinx. Time for Billy Boy Rampage. Probably shouldn't have attacked with those two. Yeah, that might have been a mistake, actually, attacking with that as well. I don't think those are good blocks, though. They're not good blocks. He's dead. Maybe he would have died either way. Um, I can't tell. But as you could see, I was far too good at Majinx. As you could see, boys, it was EGX Teach. So jumping actually looked superb, right? Superb. We had two zero games. I can't think of anything more magic than two people refusing to play Majinx. Unbelievable stuff. I got a wobbly Selvala, but I don't have the card, boys. Unbelievable conundrum. Unbel I imagine having multiple doubles, but still not having the actual card. That's how you know Mojix is unbelievable siege. Alright, let's actually have a look. Oh, Cruel Ultimatum. We could do that, I suppose. Oh, it doesn't show all the cards. Alright, so Outlaws of Fumble Bollock Junction. Rakdos Flying Tramps. Whenever you sacrifice another creature, exile cards equal to its mana value from the top of target player's library. Until your next end step, you may play those cards and mana of any type. Sacrifice another creature. Rakdos gain... Oh, that's crazy fucking aids. That is actually solid magic. I was going to say, ah, you know, it's a very solid ability, but you have to have your own outlet. But no. He's got his own inbuilt sacrifice outlet. So this is probably going to be an extremely good commandage. Extremely good. Ah, boys. We might even be able to build one of these. Well, we'll see. Double down. Whenever you cast an outlaw spell, copy that spell. That's probably very good as well. Assassins, mercenaries, pirates, pirates, rogues, and warlocks are all outlaws. Yeah, I can see that being good. I can see why I didn't open any. Gissa the maniac bitch with her sexy zombie finger bangers. Ward 2, pay 2 life. Skeletons and zombies get plus 1 and have menace. Whenever you commit a crime... Uh, did I read that? I don't think so, because I didn't open one. 
But it sounds familiar. It sounds the same as this, that's why. Maybe they go together. Because they are brother and sister. And I think that's how they made that guy on the right. Everybody knows brothers and sisters shouldn't be doing the memes. Except those two Scottish peeps. They definitely look like they should be. Alright. I mean, I think Rakdos is great. But I don't think I want to play it here. Draw a card, then discard a card. Exile a non-land card with mana value 3 or less from your hand. It becomes plotted. Whenever you cast a spell, copy the spell. I think this is shit. But, you know, for the sake of trying something new. For the sake of trying something new, boys. Uh, it might not even be mythic. Cruel Ultimatitos. Target opponent sacrifice a creature. That's weak. Discards three cards. That's okay. Loses five life. That's balls. You return a creature from your grave to your hand. That's terrible. Draw three cards. That's great. Gain five life. I do kill myself a lot. I don't think this is strong enough. Considering all the new ultimatums completely change the face of a game. I don't think this is good. Also, artwork is terrible. But, boys, for the sake of the memes, we will play it. For the sake of the memes, the game will be played. I just want to remember... You know what? I love this deck so much that I don't want to fuck it up. It's not perfect, but I like it. So we'll keep the original as is, and we'll call this Experimental Blacks. Oh, I should have the... There we go. Now it looks a bit like it says expired boobs. Just like Gabby Sparks, right boys? She was famous for a while because all of you weirdos would watch a woman do anything. But just like Merchy Boys, when she disappeared off the face of the earth, nobody cared. The funniest thing about Gabby Sparks was when she tried to be all girl boss and was like, I'm, uh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm the thingy manager. I'm the community manager or influencer, that's what it was called. Excuse me, I'm the influencer manager, and um, I'm going to help all of you guys be good streamers. And that really worked out for all those pros, right, Lance? All those pros really got a bump in views based on the advice of Gabby Sparks. Because be a girl with weaselly face features and be shit didn't transfer to redo quite as well. But, Moish, at least she cheated on her husband. So, you know she's one of the boys. So, what are we putting in, Jace? Uh, ultimatum. Seeing as, um... Seeing as this is an experimental one now, it doesn't matter if I totally fuck it up. So, we might as well... I might... Uh, I don't think there's enough... I don't think there's enough uh, I don't think there's an, enough creatures to make Rakdos work here anyway. Insatiable Avarish. Target player draws three cards, loses three life. Search a library for a card. Shuffle and put that card on top. Alright, how much does that all cost? Five. Five mana tutor draw three. Well, technically it'd be tutor draw two. Well, that's still pretty good, boys. Let's stick that in. Tiny Bones has tiny knobs. When Tiny Bones Joe's up, uh, any number of target players each discard a card. So you can choose yourself. That's pretty good if you want. Whenever a legendary creature enters a battlefield under your control, any number of target players each mill a card and lose one life. I can see that being good. Uh, 
in a few decks. Croxa seems okay. The um, I can't remember what it's called. The Tyrant. The Fungal Tyrant. That seems good. I already got Mana Drain. That's literally the first thing that goes in. One of the most busted cards ever. So I thought that went in before I was even doing the Shrinch. Caustic Bronco. Whenever this attacks, reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. You lose life equal to that card's mana value if it isn't saddled. Otherwise, each opponent... Oh, for two! Wow! Lance. That is not a bad bit of memes. Reading this, I thought this would be four. But for two, lads, what an absolute bargain. I don't think my deck is small enough to accommodate it. But I think it's all right, boys. What do we got that's black and red? Oh, my lord. What do we saw this dog shit? Oh, I saw this uh, previewed. It, this does look like it could shatter the matter. Hey, boys, who's this sexy bitch? Again, why is she covered up all the time? Oh, stop being a pervert, Mr. Cheeks! Well, I mean, that is an argument I can't defend. I do want to see unnecessarily naked women. I would play Stella Blade based entirely on the fact that she's got jiggly assholes. But why is Oko naked and everyone else is getting masculine facial features? Boys, why? Isn't this a queen of somewhere as well? Whenever you commit a crime, you may pay one. If you do, look at the top two of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the other into your bin. Hmm. Uh, I think in this deck, it's just going to get meddled. What's this robotic mad thing? Scorpion Dragon Rogue. Sacrifice three other lads. You may put a creature card from your hand onto the fields. Activate only as a sorcery and only once. A 5-5 five, five trample for four. With flying. That's pretty strong, Lance. Lizard Man McGee. Creatures you control but don't own are mercenaries in addition to their other types. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X cards of target opponent's library. Where X is the number of outlaws you control until end of turn. You may cast spells from among those... I've to I don't even know what I'm reading. That's way too many words for me. With this much whiz in my balls. Lila, boys, another one who is not exuding the boobage. Three mana, three, three with prowess. Mm. Whenever you cast a multicolored instant or saucy spell from your hand, exile that spell instead of putting it into your grave. If you do, it becomes plotted. That sounds crazy. I hate prowess, but the fact that you get, seem to get free cards all over the shop, I'm going to say that that is going to be good. This guy, Menace, whatever he believes, when blah 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 blah, I'm, not, I'm, I'm done reading. Uh, Calamity Jones. No, I don't think we'll be able to saddle anyone. Magda. Mm, she's still looking all right, boys. For a dwarfies. Although, she was in a bikini last time. And you see what I mean. You see what I mean? This is ableism. Or is ableism the wrong one? I think it is the wrong one. This is AIDSism. Okay, Look at this bullshit. She was totally fine walking around in a in a bikini top thing. But now, fucking like she's trying to climb Mount Everest. Levels of coverage. But somehow Oko and Jace tits out. I'm calling the police after this. This is bullshit. But on the plus side, we do have two versions of an extremely bangable dwarf. Which is, it can only be good for the game. <laughs> for some reason. Alright. I don't, I don't know. I don't think there's anything I want to actually use then. The Flesh Minge, whenever you cast a spell during your turn, make a zombie. Whenever a zombie enters the battlefield under your control, put 1-1 one, one on it. Mm, that just seems shite. 
But like I said, I, I now I think we're just going to play all the new cards that I had. Whenever this does combat damage play, you may cast target non my opponent card from that player's grave. All right, that's what we'll do. We're just going to bang everything in that's new. That also looks pl plausibly shit. And then we'll buy some more cards and keep doing it, and then we'll delete the deck. Don't forget the uncommons, what's good? Any two mana removally boys? Those are normally very good. Desert Dew. Target creature gets minus two until end of turn. It gets an additional minus one for each desert. Nope. Fake your own balls. Nope. Had enough of that. Destroy target non-outlaw. I do like destroy target something. But I'm going to get confused as to what's a, what is and what isn't an outlaw. Whatever. So, uh, D, 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 eight cuts. Wash away. Dark ritual is AIDS. Mm, dark ritual is just AIDS. We'll take counter spell out for mana drain. Although, in a real deck, you'd play both of them. Cyclonic Rift's fine. Into the Royal can go out for a minute. That's fine. We'll keep this. Bit of Triumph is great. Go for the balls. We'll take that out for this. Oh no, Edict is, is a load of shit. Fuck it. I've done it now. Dear Liddy, this is three mana. Whatever. Midnight Knob is fine. That's good. Study's great. Saw my balls. Yeah, that can get fucked. Black Market's great. Blood Mage is sometimes very good. This guy, whatever this is. Beep, bop, boop. Davriel is clean mange. Sting a bacteria, whatever the fuck. Elixir can come out. Burn down my balls. I can't let any dweebs get away with this shit, so we got to keep that. Chandra. Mm, all right, we'll get rid of Epiphany. We'll get rid of Meat Muff. There we go, 100 cards. 100 cards for a new set. Slapping up on the tubes, boys. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful siege. Oops. Doing some exploring. Oh my lord. Thing still I thinks I don't know what I'm doing. Like standard, it features the latest sets. You think Gabby Sparks did the voiceover for that? Or you think they got one of the boys? 45 grand to have E Philly do that. Try and sound as much like a squashed rabbit as possible, but actually is a charismaless blob of massive tits, which is good. I mean, all those things are negative, but they're all outweighed by massive tits, obviously. I could watch her play mono black forever as long as those beps are on show. All right, we got Jace. That's new, that's new, boys. That means brand new deck. Slap it up on the tubes. Unless I lose, in which case, uh, this guy is a cheater. But! I got eights. But, 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 boys. It is time. We did mention it. We gotta check out E Philly's uh, new season, new set boobs, obviously. New season, new set. Still mono black, I presume. But how much boobage was Boobamatrons? How much boobalage was Boobington Beebalage? Oh boy. Yeah. Boy. Oh. I've never oh, got the no. appeal of watching this. I never ever have any idea what's going on. It's just like a full shit show Royal Rumble, but somehow it's all good, according to some dweebs. Alright, so I can play Solemn, or we can play Jace for the beach. What do you think, boys? I think, unfortunately... Oh no! We can, we can have enough. Alright, we'll do it this way. Exile something! It becomes plotted, hey boys? All right, let's do the plotage. You know, just for a bit of variation. Okay, boys. Okay, sweet. Just to see how things can go. 
So, plotted. You may... Plotted cards may be cast as a sorcery. No. Well, that's not, well, that's not quite as good. That's not quite as good at all, boys. Okay. So, I think you take black. In. Okay, boys. Just play this as a 2 3 for the memes. Oh, it's free, so I see. Even as a sorcery, it'd still be free. So that's not that bad. Okay, boys. Look, who are we looking for? E Phillies. It was pre release, so maybe those baps were flying to prove magic was fun or something. Hey! Boyish. Any, any, just any reason to dress up. Right, boyish. Lance, you know it was good memes. Oh, no, I did. You know, get that fucking fuck? search bar off the thing. Boyce. Huh? She's just playing Mujiks. Nothing to see here except quality Mujiks. Boyish. Lands, there was only quality magic and magic, magic, magic. But in the end, it was always gonna be magic. Boys. Mm, I'm just gonna bang this lad out. Just to see what it looks like. Oh, boys. Until end of turn, whenever you cast a spell, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. We're already at ultimate speed. We're already at ultimate magic, boys. And I don't know about you, but that does give me almost as much of the horn as watching e Philly play Magic the Gathering. But only based entirely on her magic skills, obviously. Obviously, boy. How could it not have always been such a thing? Okay, I think I may have fixed it. <laughs> I forgot she was fucking still there. She just sitting in silence Yay! with her tits out. New stream. No. Okay. 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 Let's follow boy two thousand five X D X X X. So what had happened was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's a funny story, boys. Which is boys. weird, because I'm logged in. I wasn't logged in on Streamlabs, but I was. My chat wasn't logged in for some reason. I had to re-log in. Because I'm pretty sure I got my audio split from my VODs. Effectively, finally. After switching to the new computer. But I had I have an alt account that I test all my settings on. Alright, now there's an ad. I don't know, whatever. I have an alt account that I test my settings on. Alright. I might have been greedy. Uh, so I was but we'll see. Them. Last we'll night see. Before today, because it's takes me a long stream. I want to publish my vod. I want to do my vod, guys. Guys, it's not about my boobies. No I way, mean, boys. Technically, I've had all this stuff forever, but it looks very Barbie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, we drew another one. Slay. Okay, what is Great Train Heist? Boys, uh, one thing that some Gabby Sparks needs to tell her some pr pr premium uh, advice on how to shatter any matter. Boys, premium advice on meta shatterage. And it is this. Put the picture of you up 50% so we can all get a quality look at those baps. And I don't know why anybody would ever not say, have a bang on this AIDS. Lance, slap it up on the tube. Boys! Booming it up on the beach. Lance. Skimble a bop boop a dooch. Oh, my time wank's gone. Well, never mind, Lance. That's what we like. Alright, Shark Typhoon for zero. That's what I like to see, boys. Well, 
what else we got? Lance Balls, Audacity. Oh, oh, oops, Frongify. Enchanted Creature loses all abilities and gets eight. Okay, Moish, have a one of those. Oh, the fucking frog's back. All right. Okay, boys. Uh, what else can I do? Sacrifice something? Okay, boys. Let's see if we can shatter this matter with our ginormous emeralds. You know, just like nature in Tepit. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful mana for your boy, Kinch. He's technically dead, then. I don't want to win that way, though, but I'm not going to stretch the game out just to be a bit of a slag. So, attack for 15, do seven with bubbles. Okay, Lanch. Okay, sweet. We'll play this for the memes. There you go, boys. I added a couple of new cards. Absolutely change the face of Mujiks. Beat one of the easiest decks that ever existed, primarily because Emrakul destroys everybody. And then I slanted up on the Jukes. Unbelievable scenes. But this is definitely Thunder Junction, right? Not some sex party bullshit that she goes to on the weekend. No way, boys. But genuinely, somebody needs to tell her, number one, You've clearly stretched your thing out to make you look a bit thinner, but you don't need to fool us. We know what a beefster looks like, and it'll just increase the beef on the bench. Number two, put this over here. So we can get a good look at the reason everyone's here in the first place. Obviously. Boyish. You don't... You think Riff Wizard isn't there for these boys? No chance. What else can we look at? She's the last of the the booby streamers, though. Her friend, Peaches McShits, whatever, she ran off, so she's not around anymore. Ali Wank, I suppose Ali Wankfield is always trying to bap set out. It's fucking psycho. She's such a psycho after going on about how much of a lesbian she was for three years, tweeting about how she's going out with a boy, and a regular boy with a dick and everything. Oh, she's probably not called Ali Warfield anymore. Something else. Is that her? Skylar. That sounds right. Oh, it tends to look a little bit titty, boys. Boys. Yeah. Thank you. Boys. Oh, there's that other one. <laughs> All of my dreams have come true. <laughs> but weren't you on a date with a boy literally yesterday? That's true. People can fuck literally anyone anytime, to be honest. People can. She fucked that girl uh, at a magic event. Hey, attracts her. Get eight. Which she loved telling everybody about. You know, because magic is definitely not some weird polyamorous orgy hole. How's in effect? Who's this boy? Oh, they're playing magic as well. Heaven! Who's this? <laughs> they look very good at magics. Oh, ha, 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 boy. <laughs> yes, this is the kind of content that is definitely not for weirdos. But never forget, in the context of magic, I'm the weirdo. This is all normal magics. Barking, flobbing your tits around is basic magic the gathering 
whatever I say and do about wizards being racist, nepotistic idiots, that's just my jealousy that I wish they would send me a 50p card. Boish. Oh my days. <laughs> Boish, I mean, I don't even know what we're watching. I don't even know what we're watching anymore, but at least she looks all right. I can't deny that. Nerdy Senpai. Plays Majik's voice. I don't know what else she does. This is not the popcorn titty bucket. This is the popcorn... I don't know what else she does, but she definitely likes it in bips. Don't be having Jesus there. <laughs> don't be having Jesus on your fucking tits and doing all that Jesus. shit. Boish. I don't know about you. She might be very close to qualifying for the Pro Tour. This all looks very good. A live discovery of a new Magic the Gathering pair of Boobamatrons. Boish. You thought this was going to be a, a brand new Magic card discovery. Instead, it was an e-girl discovery. Boish. Oh, she's only got clips. We don't want clips. I want to see premium schmeeblage. Oh, here we go. I guess I just don't know how YouTube works. Uh, because this is Twitch. Okay, she's letting the team down. I wouldn't have watched this stream. I might have watched this stream, though, boys. One second, boys. Nerdy Senpai's content is intended for certain audiences. Uh, you know what we're talking about here. It may contain significant profanity or vulgarity. A mature rated game. And you still get money. you got to respect Twitch for that. Boys, I can't even say the C word on Twitch, on YouTube, without getting immediately quanked. And saying fucking shit all the time means I always start Don't off with a yellow the base. I, I'm going to tell you, I was just eating and enjoying my... Uh, Minch? Beanie baby. Does not reach strikeouts, just no one reaches base. Mm. Oh, Got no, it. boys. Let the team down. Oh, but someone gave her $100. Money well spent. I have to find that Beanie Baby somewhere. I did have the Princess Diana Beanie Baby, too. It Princess Diana Beanie Baby. It was like a, a large Beanie Baby. Boy, how about these Beanie Boys? Oh, she's getting sad thinking about that lost Beanie Boy. Wait, I want to like look at Beanie Babies now. Guys, my Beanie Baby <laughs> collection's gone. I'm not selling it anymore. I them now. <laughs> I'm not even a garlic guys, fan. Guys, what happened to all my BB so boobles? Boy, I can't talk about this. She played Dragon's Dogma. What a lad. Hi, I'm just a prisoner. Nothing to see here. What a lad. New mouse with $100. Is that a different dude? Angry Pancake. Is that a different Did dude with 100 beans? Where are all my 100 beans from you, Maniacs? Annoying. Like, what the fuck, man? Oh, she Did needs a new mouse. Okay, Ooh, well, she got you it. know what? I'm already fucking in jail, so... $100? Goal? $100 received? Is that what it's uh, looking at? I don't Eclair? know. I'm trying to see. Amber? Let's look around. Wait, who's my... I might get rid of Kanoichi. What level is she? Recent follow, Yankel McSchmiegel. 59 subs, not bad. Five bits. Always get them, they give you unique pawns. Top donation, f 100 beans. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, nice. she seems like a fine streamer to me. She actually seems like she's got genuine charisma and a nice set of bangers. Is. It's early days, obviously. Who's dead right now? Oh my god, somebody's carrying her body. Oh yeah, have a look at that but. for an outfit as well, boys. I didn't even know you could wear literally bottomless... Dragon's Dogma characters. Fuck. Look at that! Arse out and everything! Let me out! I'm trapped! Look! Nah, I'm, this girl deserves uh, my sub. Uh, she, I think she's one of the lads. She probably doesn't know it. And would steadfastly deny it. But she is one of the lads. Obviously we'll have to do some vetting to see that she isn't a beggar or something. Because she hasn't hit her daily sub goal. And I want to see if she goes, Now guys, I made my character have their ass out. And I've got these out. 
So we've got to start hitting some number wings. Otherwise, I'm going to have to play something else where somebody doesn't have their ass out. Boy, I'm not going to lie. Anyone playing this game with just a character with their ass out I think I think they might be one of the boys. And they play magic, which we forgot about. Trying out Arena, I better not say for the first time. Because if it does, she's never played Arena, but Wizards gave her free access to the magic. Yeah, first time ever. Unbelievable stuff. Boys. Well, hopefully, if people show her enough love. She can be the latest OnlyFans girl. Thousand views, not bad, not bad. Don't you worry, I'll fucking attack. Oh, she's playing actual Sparky. Eat it. Oh, you've been blocked. <laughs> okay, boys. I don't know. I probably don't need to watch a game against Sparky. I mean, we've got Legs VD for that. Still a new mouse. She's running the scams. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. What else you got talking about? So nerdy senpai. Let's see. Oh, Twitter doesn't work. That's the problem. Twitter doesn't work when you search. So this is presumably her. But it's not going to show me anything, I don't. I bet. Four and a half thousand followers. Not bad, not bad. Oh, fuck you. So stupid. Hey, boys. Definitely one of the lads. Boys, I've never seen a more cut and dry Magic the Gathering streamer. I have never seen anyone more that in her DMs right now is going to be a message that reads a little something like this. Hello, I'm the professor. You might not know me, but I'm an extremely big deal in the game of Magic the Gathering. And if you would like to crack a matter in this community, I can really, really help you. Uh, I can fly you straight out to my massive uh, underground bunker where we play lots of Magic and do other things. And, um... At the end of it, we will uh, take a massive shit that definitely doesn't have any underwater cameras. Okay? P love you, bye. By the way, I'm 58 and everybody loves me or so, some fucking shit. Boys, this is, yeah, this, I've never seen such magic in all of my days. There hasn't been a single picture that wasn't all about magic. Boys. Yeah, look at me and I'm just in bed with my knockers almost out. Guys, uh, it's just, it's totally cool. Boys, don't try and look up here like I was Voxy. It's easy quick, boys. Mistakes were made, I'm on my couch, diddly dee, I don't know what happened, but there's no boobs, so no one's interested. Hey, Lance. Boys. Oh, Lance! I don't think we could have ever discovered more Majiks in a game of Majiks than if it was actually Majiks. Boys. Hey, what the fucking hell? How big is this woman? Is it a woman, boys? But, I don't know. Would you take that risk? She must be seven foot four. I don't know. I don't know, boys. What else, What are we running the number wings? I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna pass. But after a couple of these mistakes, could happen. You know what I mean? Oh, she's got the the MTG nerd girl thing. Had LASIK, but is too scared of her own face to take her glasses off. Unbelievable siege. Boys, it's just more clean magics. It's just more clean magics. And she knows how Oko is supposed to be looking. If this is not a future Hall of Fame Magic the Gathering slash did OnlyFans for a laugh, 
I'm just going to, it's just going to be lutes, boys. Just going to be lutes. And then in a couple of months, it's going to be full Yana Amari spunk on the face. And dead. But we hope she doesn't die. Because, I don't know, she seemed like a decent streamer to me. And, obviously, she seems very good at Bajich. Boyish. Obviously, she seems very good at Bajich. I don't know, everything just looks good. And we didn't really get let down by Twitter this time. So, how are we going to keep an eye? Nerdy Senpais. You got a YouTube as well? Got a YouTube as well, boys? I, I mean, this can't be her job. Not if you want five subs a day. Hmm? There she is. 500 subs. Yeah. So she can't be a pro. No views! Boys, we could change that. Popping my arena, Cherry. She even knows how to phrase things to really get the boys' dicks hard. Unbelievable stuff. Oh, my days. Axe throwing. I don't think I've ever seen a girl not go axe throwing who would also sell their tits. She is so cut out for magic. She doesn't even know. She doesn't even know, Lance. This ain't Texas. Uh oh. Ain't no hope. Well, I might get DMCA'd now, but... Oh, I can just mute. No, I can't mute. I have to mute the whole fucking stream. Bollocks. Not worth it. 20 views. That's better. That's better, boys. Thing that I... That I not... Block. No way. All right. There is block, absolutely no okay, way this so girl is not destined four, four. for greatness. Wait. I can use my instant. Why can't I use my instant, bitch? Why can't she use her instant? Boish. Gotta declare blockers okay, first. Is that right? Is that right? I mean, these are right. First? Lance... If she continues to play magic, somebody go help her out. Okay. That was that was a weird order. There you go. She absolutely shattered the matcher against Sparky. Legs VD better watch his back. Boish. I forgot we were actually playing Magics. Ugh, back to the boring shit. Back to the boring shit. Boys. I, this is why I'm the greatest streamer in the world. For a minute there. All of us forgot all of our problems. And our problems are that I've chosen to play magic. Unbelievable shit. No OnlyFans, but she's on Patreon. What'd she do on Patreon? Let's have a look at the... Description. Find my past Twitch broadcasts. Nerd girl, casual gamer, and some simpai for shit. I'm live there three times a week. This just has Yana Amari written all over it. Work hard at work during the week. Can't be better on the thing. And then when there are enough boys harvested, crack open that YouTube fucking OnlyFans meta. And then, unfortunately, cast yourself into the fiery embers of hell. But we would have had a wonderful time in between. Which uh, is what really matters, boys. That is what really matters. Alright, I thought this did, did something else. Deals combat damage to player, you may cast target non land permanent card from that player's grave. Okay. Hey! It's JC Boys! So I've taken a pretty, pretty unstable hand. Especially as this guy is just trying to get this out and attack into me. Which I'm not going to allow. Okay, boys? I wouldn't ever allow some land... Oh, blowing up lands. What an absolute memeloid. Incredible levels of boring magics. Unbelievable scenes of Magic the Gathering. Okay. 
So why couldn't I cast uh, this thing? I wonder. Whenever Tiny Dicks, you may cast target non-land permanent card. Oh, permanent. Okay, fine. Okay, boy. It was permanent. I see fully now. You know what I need to... I need to cast the double these permanents. That's all I know, boyish. That's all I know. So hopefully... Hopefully... This girl really starts cracking the, the matter in some regard. Even if it's not in magic. I don't... I think she seems like a fine streamer. Just not... Just she seemed like she had a lot of everything. But a lot of too specific things that definitely can shatter the matter. Oh boy. 1080p too. So we could really get a good look. I'm really annoyed I have to put water in the fridge. That's dumb. Why does she always look like she's on the verge of crying though? Good morning. Still. Oh my god, it's Kate Goslin. Only what? Only five streams, a couple of shorts. I want to do something about I want to see this, but I want to know how you mute it. Heaven! No, there's no mute option. Heaven! No mute, boys. Alright, calm down. Alright, fuck it. Let's just hope, boys, that Magic the Gathering can continue to flourish in the way that we all hope. Which is... I was almost going to say talentless slacks, because that's all I see. She's like a less fake version of Voxy with much better tits. And all I can say to that, boys, is sign me up. Sign me up! Double subs, triple the aids, quad the pubes, and GG Shankstich. Who else can we find, though? It was so random that we managed to find this girl. But there must be somebody else. A Johnny the Sleeper bitch. All right. Okay, boys. Let's see if we can't shatter this matter again. Oh, slap it up on the tubes! Unbelievable scenes! That's why this game's the best. How did I even find her? Nerdy Senpai viewers also watch these bitches. They literally look like the same person. Two of the three. 300 views, so she's already cracking Demeter. Fallout 4, very on topic. Or the Wanking Dead. Very DSP. -ish. I think we'll go. Got the most viewers. You must have the bigger bats. This is literally one of my favorite games. Mm, I don't know. Uh, how are you? I think she's a seriously underpowered streamer, if you know what I'm saying. Although, props for wearing a Fallout cosplay in a game of Fallout. But also, showing as much of your tits as possible. Because that's what Fallout was like, right? Everybody unzipped the top of their shit. Also, just not the same level. Not the same level, boys. What about this one, though? Eradicator? I hardly know her. What's Mama scheming? Something big. What's this? Uh, Oculus VR, I think that's... Or AR. VR. Call me AR. Well... She needs to turn one way or the other, although we do get a good profile of quite a robust anus. Three months of fresh water stored up easily. Probably more. I've seen what it. What is I mean, this? The <laughs> they're all training like Walking there ain't gonna dead. be no tomorrow. They're no joke. Mama's desperate. With the scale of what she's planning, no one will be spared. Is that really the Walking Dead? This ends with her reigning supreme. Is that really where the Walking Dead is? Because they can't really do anything? Because they have no weapons. And I keep getting hurt. <laughs> check. <laughs> what does uh, what does Pop say when Phil is looking Thank at himself? You. Checking the uh, checking the data. She's checking the data, boys. Make sure those data. Oh, okay. make sure the data is in order, boys. <laughs> Classic magic. At least everyone seems to be having a good time. And now we're back to having a shit time playing this fucking AIDS game. Fucking AIDS game, boys. Unfortunately, that is always gonna be my 
Unfortunately, Magic the Gathering is always on... Blah, 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 something. something eat something Top right corner, I missed it. Hey, it's the same fucking bollocks. What a surprise. Although, we've only played Mythweaver Pock once. And that was the very first game. But we'll see. So, we're all going to remember Nerdy Senpai. We're going to keep a close eye on those tits. And hope in a few weeks, every weird magic dweeb is going to try and get their claws in her. The LGBTQ, just full-on fascist maniac, whatever the twat community are. Come on our commander show. Peepers, for sure, is going to try and crack at that matter. I guess that's it, really. If you could try and uh, go out and do things her own way, which will be get a deck off the tubes, net deck the shit out of it, explain it to me for 10 minutes, even though she only started magic yesterday, win every game, and then share the matter. And then lose all of her tournaments. But, you know, even I would say it might be hard winning a tournament if you started Magic on Thursday. But, boyish, everything I've seen from that girl has just got all the ingredients for a meta shattering. All the ingredients. And you only need two ingredients, and she's got them both. But then, well, even Yana didn't really have them both. Did she, Moish? She was lacking. She was lacking in the Hoity department, but she was committed. She was committed every day she was out on those streets, peddling those bamsh. But it ultimately, it wasn't enough. Ultimately, it wasn't enough to shatter any meter, Moish. Alright, back to another autoplay shit game. Back to more autoplay dildo wanks, boys. The best kind of magics. So hopefully I draw a land. Uh, that's pretty fine, I guess. Land's well, pretty fine. I don't know why this guy is making some weird colors. Like I'm just like he, his only ability is going to go off. Uh -huh, we need lands. So kill this thing once, cast it again, do the same thing again, play literally the same turn three times, and then maybe this guy will have enough free spells to have a wink. It's such a fucking boring game. Everyone wants to play the same fucking limpy shit way. And I am so sick of it, honestly. Like, it's so close to being a good game, and it just got ruined. And I'm saying the word ruined by a mixture of magic pussies and everybody having AIDS. This game is nowhere near as good as it should be. Grip, despark, respunk. We'll take a... I mean, I can't really cast anything. We'll take a despunk. Ditch an edict, seeing as they have nothing. I can't sacrifice one dude. Anyway, whatever. We'll see. So, Mastermind's acquisition for four. Give me some mana left over to kill this again. Chill. He's already been able to pay for the shits for a third time. Well, that's a bit different. Investigate. You may get H. Okay, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana. All right, I'm going to go big shits. I'm getting rid of this. All right, what do we get? Blow up all the fucking twats. I don't know if any of that is good. But we'll see. We'll see, boys. 
It's already been a good stream. We have discovered a new slag. Well, that even might be uh That might be a harsh judgment. But uh, if I was going to bet on it, I would say it's Schlagsville. He blew up one of my things, boys. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Solve the eight. You do have to disclose what it is. Cultivate? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, maybe he's got Ulamog or Emrakul in his own hand. And if that's the case, then I probably might be on the edge of getting eight, boys. Or maybe this guy is just so fundamentally committed to... Just spamming this out. That was all he wanted. Nope. It was the boring estates. Actually, you know, I got this. Okay, boys. So, get to cast this once. Cyclonic Rift. This is just too... He was just too good, boys. The ability to keep spamming the same card and still always have the smallest dick on the block. Incredible scenes. Nothing. Alright, so we're playing Top Deck Wars where he's got nothing and I've got bombs everywhere. But we will see. We will see, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need one more card. Or oh, untapped land, sorry. That's fine. Sort of. Okay, it's not very good either, but I'm just gonna shit on my deck. Hey, I mean, he's got fucking 20 lands, boys. I'm sure it'll be fine. One, two, three, four. I mean, if he really draws nothing for what is a effectively like 10 turns, then we might be able to recover our decks. What's this? Titan of Industry. Well, that's that. Titan of Industry. Oh, boys, I'll take a Titan of Industry. I'll tighten my balls all over your mum's industry tits. Uh, Rhino. Uh, I mean, I'm on quite a low light. Nah, we'll get a Rhino. Ugh, the fucking squanch. Alright, well, the squanch is gone. Well, you get a cast lot for free. Cyclonic Rift. This guy's very good, boys. This. Oh, he can't overload it, though. Alright. I mean, whatever he gets, he better be able to cast, and he can, so I guess it was all good, Mage. I guess it's all good mange lanes. Still, to my eyes, he might actually be running out of cards. But we'll see. Elven Chorus. I can't admit that I know what that does, boys. All right, one, two, three, four, five. If I top deck an untapped land, I'm so good. Imagine getting Ulamogged and then cracking the meter. Unbelievable scenes. I love this game. I was having a terrible time when it was the same deck doing the same shit. But now that I won, depression free, living life, maximum discovery tits. I love 
the cheeks. Boys. Slap it up on the cheeks. New, I mean, it's a new set. I haven't seen a new card. Oh, boys, you fucking twats. A new set. I know I've only got eight new cards, but, you know, times are tough. I haven't got any donations. So, speaking of donations, let's buy some more packs. Let's buy some more packs, Lich. So, I want a Rakdos, I suppose. So, ten more myth each. And then we'll see what else. So, Rakdos is good. I'll open this last, because it's sexy sh shit. Rakdos is good. I didn't see any of the colours that couldn't fit in a bubbles deck. So, we'll also see. We'll also see, boys. Decisive Denial. Uh, I mean, why are they... I don't know. I don't know what, what motivates them to put certain cards in the shit spot. Whatever they want. Billy Bills. Bristly Bill. Spine Sower. Two mana. Landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target land. Not bad. Three mana. Double the number of 1-1 one -one counters on each creature you control. Boyish. That's pretty dangerous. Plong Druid. I don't know if that helps in any way. But I'm sure it can certainly shatter any matter if nobody kills it. But if it gets killed, then it certainly wouldn't make it into a Legs VD video. Okay, boys! And if it's not in a Legs VD video, then what's the point of even being alive? Nobody knows. Repulse. Oh, we looked at that earlier. Railway Brawler. Trample and Reach for five mana. Whenever another creature enters a battlefield under your control, put X11 cameras on it, where X is its power. Literally, don't even have to do anything, and your boys double their beef. For, plot for, for four. So you can bang this out on turn five for nothing, and then spam your lads, and they are all double the beef. Boys, I'm sure Desolator Magic has got a lot to say about this shit. It broke standard before standard even started. Unbelievable siege. Eh. Salute. How did wizards allow this to happen? How did wizards allow this to happen, boys? Look at this guy. I mean, I don't know why you're t f tying him up with a, something that, with fire. He's probably in a bad state. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a non-land card from it. If you do, they discard it. Otherwise, you may put a face-up exiled card they own into their grave. Face-up exiled card. That's a plot. Is that a plotted card? It must not be. I'll be honest. I don't know what a face-up exiled card is. So I'm sure someone can figure that out. I know a face-up exiled card would be something like Under Oblivion Stone. But why would you fucking do that? Abraded Muffs. Hey, boys. We do like a bit of a braided muff. And don't tell me you don't. Loot! Key to everything. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of card types among other non-land permanents you control. You may play those cards this turn. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top X cards, where X is the number of card types among other non-land permanents you control. Alright, I get that. So basically, at the start of all your turn, presumably you'll have an artifact and a creature... That's not this. Draw three. That's not bad, boys. Mind break trap. That sounds familiar. If an opponent casts three or more spells this turn, you may pay zero. Rather than pay this spell's mana cost, exile any number of spells. Oh. So this is... This is a storm tech. Is that right, boys? This is what you use to stop Storm from chaining off, which is probably 
Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me, boys. Hypothesis. Draw two for five. Then you may discard a non-land card. When you do, it does four damage. Nah. In the bin. Final showdown. Got one of those. Skewer the shit. So yeah, yeah, got one of those. Gem Lightfoot. Mm, I don't know, boys. That might be one of Wizard's dream native bonglers that apparently there were so many of in the Old West. Oko the lad! So much mischief yet undone. At the beginning of combat on your turn, turn Oko the lad... No, that's not, that's not what that says. At the beginning of combat on your turn, Oko the lad becomes a copy of up to one target creature you control until end of turn, except it has hexproof. Okay, boys. So a hexproof lad. Okay. Plus one, draw two cards. If you've committed a crime this turn, discard a card. Otherwise, discard two. Okay. Minus one, make an elk. Okay. For each other non-land permanent you control, create a copy that's a... Create a copy of that permanent. All right, that is pretty good. That is pretty good, boys. You can tell why Aidzonian is already sticking multiples up her ass. Just to feel the warm glow of fuckboy Oko's puge. Unbelievable scenes. But that is pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to think. I could build a deck. I mean, we could do anything, obviously. But we might have less time in the future, depending... Because I'm getting new neighbors upstairs, and if they're not wank stains, I can't just be shouting my balls off at four o'clock in the morning. So we'll have to address how the magix is going to go forward. If it's daytimes, or if, or if I have to talk like this during all the evening, wouldn't that be a fucking mischief? Omen path journey. Mm, I don't know. This little thing looks like a bag of shit. When Omen Path Journey enters the battlefield, search a library for up to five lands that have different names. Exile them, then shuffle. At the beginning of your end step, choose a card at random. Exile one Omen Path. Put it onto the battlefield. That's good. Right? That is just good mana ramp. And mana fixing and land abuse. Yeah, I think so. As long as it doesn't get destroyed, it's fucking amazing. Alright, we can bang that in somewhere. Moida! I know what Moida is, Lynch. Classic memes. This guy. Gearhead, Mirror of the Wilds. Haste. Non-token creatures you control have tap. Create a token that's a copy of target token you control at the end of the battlefield this turn. That is a lot of odd shit. But if you're making tokens, it's probably fine. Annie Flash! The Flash in Minge Bot or something. Flash. She does have Flash, boys. When Annie Flash, the veteran, enters the battlefield, if you cast it, Return target permanent card with value three or less from your grave to the field. That's good. Oh, it's six mana, though. Whenever any shits becomes champed, exile the top two cards of your library. You may play those cards this turn. That's also good. Annie Mingetastic, pretty solid. Pretty solid Mingage, boys, has to be said. Uh, yeah, and you can flash a commander in, which makes it even more good Minge. Double Mythics! Uh, and double new Mythics. So hopefully... I think I heard Reanimate was in the vault sets. I would want to Reanimate. Mind Slaver. Sacrifice Mind Slaver. You control target player during that player's next turn. Oh, we're banging that in. We're banging that in, lads! If ever there was an instant slap that shit on the tubes, it's one of these shits. That's actually really awful to be in the in the thing. 
Because everyone's commander's going to start getting killed. And stuck in the grave forever. Uh, well, well, I'm going to do it as well, so get fucked. Swords! Oh boy. Sword of Aids and Balls. Equipped wealth and power. What do I think wealth and power is? Because normally they make sense. No, it's not protection from anything. Instants and sorceries. It used to give you protection from colors. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from instants and sorceries. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure. When you next cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets. I have to build a swords deck now. There are way too many swords for it to still be as shit as it is. We're gonna, that's the thing. We're gonna find a commander that deals with equipment like Hwatli, not Hwatli, like uh, Nahiri. And we're gonna bang all the swords in and we're gonna crack all the meters. But Mind Slaver can definitely go in uh, the Boobalax deck. Last one for the mange. No sexy additional bollocks. Gissa, the Muff Razor. We read all this. Skeletons and zombies get plus one and have menace. Whenever you commit a crime, create two. Create two tapped blue and black zombie sex bomb finger bangers. This ability triggers only once each turn. Well... That's probably just to keep Aidzonian from literally spunking her pants at the table. Only one mythic. Absolute scams. Who's this big bullhead? Oxen you control have double strike. Whenever Bruce Tull, roving rancher, enters the battlefield or attacks, exile the top card of your library. If it's a land card, create a 2-2 two -two white ox... Otherwise, you may cast it. That's balls. That's, again, I think this might be good. Kellen. That's old. That's also old. I don't even know what if. Some furry bitch. Wily Duke. Autism hero. Vigilance. Whenever this dude becomes tapped, gain life, draw a card. That's good. Four mana. Or four power, this guy must be doing some serious mountage. He must be one of those OnlyFans boys who are always fucking some filthy bitch. What an absolute dweeb. <laughs> and a shieldred for the mage. Alright. So, Mind Slaver, for sure, is getting crowbarred in. Anything else that looked like it could be good mage? Anything? We don't need that. Seize the secrets. Don't need any of this shit. Any of these were good. Shoulder is not new. I'm trying to think. I mean, I'm sure I've played this 50 times. But have I really? Maybe, it, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think anything here has given me the horn. Mind Slaver, the sword. I don't think it's worth it. What's this? Eat shit. Gold Pan. Whenever Gold Pan enters a battlefield, create treasure. Equipped creature gets plus one. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's pretty solid, I think. I think that's pretty solid. Alright, I suppose that was all. Okay, boys, what comes out instead of this virtue of persistence i mean i like the turn two minus three i think that actually is extremely good memes but we might be able to take emrakul out for a slaver i mean don't forget this deck is not set in stone we're just trying to use some new stuff mastermind acquisition I think I should take this out for the... Oh, I know what to do. We'll take this out and we'll play the, the other black version thing.
Yeah, avarice. Oh, it's already in. I just never saw it. Alright, fuck it then. Well, that that's the right number. We'll just have a couple more games. A couple more games against the same old shit. Absolutely have a wonderful time. And at the end of the day... Have eights. Yeah, it might be that I played it in cube. Because I'm certain I've played it. But also, it's totally normal for wizards to say something is new when it isn't. Alright, on the draw against Mono Red. I don't think so. I don't think I want to play such aids, boys. But we do have a turn one Ragger Boy. And if anything's going to convince me to play a load of old fucking aids, it's going to be aids. So I guess we'll give it a try. But in the meantime, let's remember... Let's remember what we might have got out of the community. Lance. Look at that. I mean... Oh, that might be a chair. Uh, if it's not, though, that is a nice lumpy ass. Good memes. Good memes. Boy. This girl's always busting out the good scene. It's a, it's a fairy cosplay, not just a tits out cosplay. Don't be fucking idiots. Cinco de Mayo. Look at my tits. Boys. It must be Cinco de Mayo again because it's the same. Lance. Cinco de Mayo on Christmas Day. Have a look at those bangers. They look like someone spunked on them too. Absolutely incredible stuff. Alright, this guy died of AIDS. Um, wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Hey! Boys. Uh, it was New Year's Eve. So somebody was certainly trying to get fondle bonged. No bobs. Well, I'm not watching that. Well... She fooled me. She fooled me, Lance. Imagine saying no bobs in a Bobs and Virgin stream. Incredible stuff. Drop a pic and your height. Oh, we'll find out if she was a midget or not. Next to that person who looked literally 75 feet tall. Four foot nine! An actual Magda Grade dwarf. Boys, imagine how big your knob would look. In between those boobamatrons. Unbelievable. Her value just went up 80%. Boyish. Her value just went up 82%. Incredible seeds. Boys, we might have really struck gold. In the community this time. We might have really struck the community gold. Fingers crossed that she sticks around and doesn't kill herself like Yana did. Just when Yana was hitting the peak of Majiks, it just it was Swanton Bomb off the Empire State. What a tragedy. Huck says, for the Swords deck, it'd be cool to find a commander who gives double strike or something sexy. I, I mean, Nahiri feels like it must be it. I've played against Nahiri. It, it's six mana. It's six mana. Um, and it gets cheaper based on the equipment you have. You know what, boys? It's 2019. We're going to fucking do it right now. After this game, we're going to shatter the meta. I must have 75 swords by now. That's it. I mean, I don't really like having aids, but... Match magic, I guess, suppose. So we're just going to get lands or artifact ramp off this thing. Look at that, boys. We might get double opponent turns. Imagine getting double the turns off a land. Incredible things. Incredible change. Although I actually can't get rid of this. And that might be a problem. But I never really have any problems, boys. I'm on the chooch. If anything gets dangerous, then I just fucking delete it. For the memes. Time tits. What do you think? I mean, it just doesn't do enough for me ever. Crucius. Well, that's a bit of a meme, my lord. All 
All right. I liked Avriel a lot, but we are behind. And this was the card to discard. But because it's the card that we're supposed to be using, that's not what's happening. Okay, boys. Okay, so we can ditch your land this time. Hey, boy, she's pretty good. Well, oh, that's odd, though. Alright, alright, alright. Everyone calm your fucking balls. might get fatal push, you never know. Alright, well I can just cast this now, so that's probably enough, as long as he doesn't ultimate me now. Alright. Coma can still die. I can still let Coma die, which is fun. You like you guys like a bit of fun shit, don't you boys? Hey! That's... Although I don't think so. Okay, boys. Let us begin cracking the meters. Although, I wonder if I can cast this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, boys. I think we might be able to shatter the meters. Boys. He has absolutely bamboozled his own bolts. What? Oh. You see the problem? You see the problem? I, I can't kill anything. I see. Normally, normally, if it's, uh, if you play Emrakul, you've got a 13-13 land on the field. However, as you may see, in this instance, I've only got a 3-1, and he can't actually do much. So I'm just going to have to waste all of his spells. Okay, destroy all creatures. If evidence was collected... Okay, well, that's fucking easy as shit, then. I'll just blow up all the boys. If evidence was collected, then search his owner's graveyard hand library for any number of... Nah, fuck it, then. Boys. Easy quicks. It works out like a dream. Regrowth. All right, dig up and regrowth. Unfortunate. Oh! Is this his green? Boys, we absolutely shattered the meta here. So, regrowth, something useless. You can have one of these. And then dig up something equally useless, which is nothing. Beautiful stuff! Have a bang on that! Have you ever seen such unlimited domination, boys? Boys, have you ever seen such unlimited smash bangerich? I might have to send it to Professor Peters to say GG Shakespeare. Unbelievable scenes, boys. Absolutely incredible scenes in a game of magic. So it does cost 10, but with Crucius, it would just made it all so easy and cheap. And I even had fucking Emerald Plops ready to shatter the meter. Boys. Red Bar did an article on my text messages I've sent to peeps. Not looking good. Well, I don't send text messages to peeps, so I'm doing fine. Who's Red Bar as well? If you mean the things I put in the Discord, well, boyish, I do say the word bongler a lot. I do say the word bongler a lot of the time. And if it's the end for all cheeks, then it must be so. But, in the meantime, I am certainly having a wonderful game of magic. Who 
Who is Red Bar? Or is this guy being a, a Mimaloid of Oish? I mean, eventually, I wouldn't bet against... I wouldn't bet against uh, the Discord getting me in trouble. Well, not in trouble, you know. Nothing illegal goes on over there, I, like I say. We talk about the bunglers a lot. Burn down the aids. I think that'll do. I think that'll do, boys. Uh oh, oh, dragons. Oh, it's not the same. I thought I was playing. I thought I was playing. What do you call it? Oh dear. Oh dear, boys. I thought I was playing the same thing from a minute ago. You know, boish. The Planeswalker. Hoth! I thought we were playing Koth, but it, it might be worse. It might be worse than that. We'll see. Did I watch the Champions League? I did. Not a good night for the Anglais lads. We did actually come down with a spot of the age. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's tough. It's tough at that stage. I think Arsenal... I don't know. Arsenal kind of threw it away in the first leg. Man City just got really unlucky. Okay, boys. I need him to not plus this. All right. We might get away with it. We might get away with it, boys, if we try extremely hard. If we try really, really hard, boys. Alright. Do that. Oh my god, I haven't got double red. Never mind, Lanch. That's probably that. Draw three. Return two random cards. Okay. Alright. <sighs> Fucking rubberized knobs. Red Bar is watching. He's got a huge channel investigating people. Oh, well now I know that you're a memer. Because if it's about text messages, then I literally have never done anything wrong. If it's about looking at this kind of thing and saying GG's, then I might be in trouble. <laughs> but we'll see, boys. 5,000 views. Uh, nah, there's no way this guy's investigating me for saying bonglo when he's talking about these dudes. Boys, I think we might be getting memed. We might be getting memed, boys, but we'll have to see. Alright, so I can kill... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Alright, I can kill... Oh, I'm dead. Well, that's that's a problem. I'll just have all the tea. Being dead is a problem, boys. Unfortunately, I might be dead. But for a mono red game, that was surprisingly not the worst. Surprisingly not the worst, boys. I love Majic. Bubbles, the old bubbleage, boys. So you said he did an article, so I would assume it's published somewhere. Where can I see what a memer I've been? Where can I do the investigations into my own shit? Lance. Also, how big is this? He's got a 4K camera and a good set. That's That's got to be said. Oh, he's not Red Bar. This is something else. Oh, I don't know who this is then. Red Bar Rewind must be some other dude. Hmm, we'll see. Slap a draft on the tubes. We gotta find if I'm really being investigated, boys. I might finally be stricken with the bonglerism. Unbelievable saints.
lands. All right, I think that's fine. Because we got unexpected aids. We'll see. Uh-oh. I don't know what we can do now then, boys. We might end up with a spot of apes. Our fatal push is pretty good. Alright, fatal push. Virgin land. Mm hmm. We might get it. Oh, ultimate virginity, boys. Ultimate virginity in a game of Majinch. One, two, three, four, five. Five to two. I don't know. I think I might be getting a bit quacked here. Bubbles or Scarab God? And Mass Manips. Oh man, this guy is giving me the full barbecues. This guy is fully barbecuing me, Lance. Unbelievable scenes. So what is Red Bar? It's not a channel. Is it an actual... Or am I getting goaded into typing Red Bar and Red Bar is just a porn site? Red Brand Radio. A comedy talk show out of Chicago. There's literally no chance, unless it's small time. Mm -hmm. I don't want to click on this, if I'm honest. What am I actually doing? Playing this fucking shit game. Okay, boys. Shabaradee, shabaradee. If we cannot shatter the mana. Okay, Exile Grave. Pretty good. And I think... I don't know what I need. Oh, it's not this one. It's not this one, Lance. Four cards in the grave. Aids on the field. Okay. We'll have to see how it all pans out. Boish. Bubbles. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I've got seven. I've got seven as well. We're going to have to fight Boobalax with Boobalax. Unfortunately, mine is going to die first. Hmm. Overflowing insight, though. I don't think there's any way. I don't think there's any way. How do I not get eights from this situation? You think you can kill a god? How do I not get H from here? Alright, I'm gonna try this. I'm fairly certain that this is wrong. This is getting But we'll see. Lance. Hmm. I'll be taking that. Oh, I thought this was the converted mana cost of the thing that you steal. One, two, three, four. And then one. So he can just steal my bubs. Alright, I fucked this right up. I fucked this all the way up, Lance. Why would he allow that to happen? I don't know. Extremely odd. Maybe he wants to steal this as well. That would also... That would also make sense. I'll kill you for that. Okay, boys. I might be getting in... I might be getting quacked here. I still want to find this Red Bar article. I can't click on anything I don't recognize. And I... I mean... There's just no way... This guy is interested in a Magic the Gathering streamer saying the word bongles. You, you know what I mean? Because 
If I can guarantee anybody anything in this world, it's that I have never, ever sent anything suspiciously aids to anybody. Which I guess is good meat. Alright. So mine's alive. His is on the field. And he gets a free... Man. Oh my lord. What am I even going to do with that shit? So who's been to Redbar's site? Is there truly an article? Has that guy gone... Uh, what's the word? Mischief in Majik. A man has called Bonglos the Bonglos and is always kicking up pictures of Talia Tits' ass in the Discord. Unbelievable stuff at nine. Or something like that. Or does this guy PD Pam have to get banned? Or talking a load of eights? Boys, I guess we'll see. What's this guy? Oh my lord! Boys, I guess that's a GG's XD. Cruel Ultimatum quacked me the whole time. Unbelievable change. What else can I actually do here? Nothing. I think it's just fucking smash quatch. Ugh, I think it's just smash quacks, boys. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable scenes. One, two, three, four, five. So it's just top deck, River's Rebuke. Otherwise, I'm dead. Okay, boys. River's Rebuke for the Minge. What I lose? Nothing. Choose target here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, it's basically one draw. I suppose I could take a Wrath. But that's not particularly exciting. <laughs> okay, boys. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable, Mage. Bang. Incredible stuff. Alright. Never mind, boys. Never mind. Tiago says, by the way, that was a pretty good Talia photo in the red pants. I mean, she does make a lot of good Boobinumatron pictures, lads. He does throw an awful lot of Boobinumatron shit all over the place. That's how you know she's got a bunch of each. And that's how you know this other girl that we discovered today is also unbelievably shit. Oh, Nahiri. Alright. Nahiri, boys. But I don't want to play Nahiri. Apparently, a big lad is doing an article on me. And I want to find out if that's true. So he doesn't do articles. This is a radio show. Unless they're doing an article on my incredible selection of watches. In which case, I might be in for a couple of Casio spoilers. Am I going to click this? I'm going to do it. Verifying that I'm a human, I am. Episodes. The case of Dr. Cheeks being a mima. I don't even know how we would find it. I don't think that that's short. I don't think it's true. I don't think it's true, boys. I don't think it's true. Recursive Coyote. Someone in chat said that uh, Red Bar is doing an article on... He said text messages, and I can guarantee that he's talking shit, if that's the case. 
If it's Discord messages about Talia's tits, <laughs> then boy, she's guilty as charged. If it's Discord messages about wizards being racist, nepotistic, bongler-obsessed wanksteins, then it is guilty as charged. If it's texts about anything, then it is definitely, definitely a load of old eights. And that guy probably needs to get banned out of the chat for being a memer. I'm trying to find out which it is. You know, I don't ban people for nothing. If he is truly reporting the news, then we will have to see. But if he's talking the eights, boys, it might be eights. How are the libel laws in the UK against an American podcaster? Uh, I don't know. Who have I... What American podcaster have I shot on? River's Rebuke was your first exiled card by Ragavan. Uh, well, fuck it. So after this, if I remember, we're supposed to be playing Nahiri. Timbo's as well. This guy might be really good, boys, at getting H. Alright, I, I mean, this is just a load of old tits. So... What does this do? When it enters the battlefield, escapes with a 1-1 counter on it. Alright, so if that's the case, I think we've got to make sure that it's dead forever. There's no need to moralize to me. Have a weak bot to match your weak will. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got a lot of good spells, but I'm just too far. Boys. If Red Bar was making lies about you. I mean, not to sound like DSP, but... Uh, I wouldn't have time. Not wouldn't have time, I wouldn't be asked. If there, if there are messages, let's even say for a second someone said, Look, these are texts from Dr. Cheeks. I mean, they're just definitely not from me. But even saying those things sound insane. Alright, which one of these gets killed? One damage, diddly D. Alright, the one that produces mana, I suppose. Well, that was a disaster. Yeah, if there are actual texts, then maybe I don't know, I don't wanna start in I don't wanna start getting into a conversation like that. It sounds properly grim. Mr. Cheeks, how do you defend yourself against this spurious bullshit? I mean, that's not what I wanna hear. If somebody wants to say Mr. Cheeks how do you defend that you have said the word bongla one billion times, boyish? Like I said, hands up. I have done that. Bongla has been called many a day. Oh, I haven't got any mana. I, I see the problem. I see the problem, boys. There was me expecting to cast uh, the fatal shits. But no mana is available. All right, I, I don't think I can beat... I don't think I can beat this. Although, you never know, Lynch. You never know. I do hope you make this battle exciting. Maybe I should have played Chimley first. I don't know. A lot of stuff. Red Bar's fans do this to heckle comedians. They shout, Red Bar is watching. Well, then someone would be in here saying that, wouldn't they? Boys, I think this guy might just be being a memer. I think this guy might be being a memer. Not today, oh, I'm just getting fired up. Well, I guess we'll see no soon, but I can't imagine anything is going to come of it. This guy might have just been saying, Hey, Cheech, what do you think of the allegations in this? In, and then think maybe I'll say something. But ultimately, Bullish, it might just be GG Chechtich. Alright. Uh, I suppose do five damage to all things. Well, that's not, that's not enough now. Man, the amount of free shit you get. I can see why nobody wants to play real magic. You know, it is kind of a bit shit. 
All right. Uh, I can bubbles it, but bubbles will die. Or will it? Will bubbles die? One damage to target player or planeswalker is a four, five, six, seven, eight. It will die. All right. Well, we'll just we'll see if we can fight eight with eights with the free shit. We'll see if we can find AIDS with AIDS with the free shit boys. Yeah, we should do a GoFundMe for a potential red bar defense fund. Hey, boys! Ah, ragga boys. That didn't ha that didn't help a lot, really, did it? Hmm. Alright, I mean, we get a five mana spell. We'll see what it is. I can't even cast... I can't cast the free elements of it. That's a real shame. Never mind, boys. I am certain everything shall eventually... Resolve itself as being Rosario Donald's anus. As it often does. Two mana. That's some dangerous pubes, Lanch. What's he got? I'm the best fire starter there Seven is. mana plus eight. Another dragon I can't do anything about. Oh, is this going to be one of those situations where I actually die and I don't notice? Hmm. I mean, this kills a four mana thing. I'm going to hold on to it. No, it doesn't. I can't. Tr I can't sacrifice anything. Ugh. One, two, three, four, one, six, seven, and one spell. Study. So rivers rebuke. All those, all those shits. Rivers rebuke can't be cast off of this though. Oh, again, I gotta look. I gotta look at my fucking thing. I gotta look at my HP, boys. But that isn't really my style. That isn't really my style. Boish. Alright. So, the swords deck. Complete. We didn't even see that many new cards. Mindslaver was pretty strong, though. Mindslaver was pretty strong. Oh, I didn't do the... Oh, man, it's... All right, we're going to build it totally from scratch. We're not going to do the the basic. We're not going to do the thing I always do, which is use a basic base. We're going to start fully from scratch. And then we're going to shatter the mantra. So, I, I don't even know if I have Nahiri. All right, I do. Affinity for equipment. Whenever an equipped creature you control attacks, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. You may cast equipped spells this way without paying their mana cost. Okay, boys. So. We'll bang in some mythic level. Actually, I remember this being busted. When it enters a battlefield, choose one. An equipment card in your hand, it perpetually costs one to equip. Target equipment you control perpetually gains equip one. Alright, that is busted. But we'll look for mythic equipment. Tor Alf, Ember Puge. That thing. This thing. That dude, probably. All the actual swords. Even the ones that I don't own. Even the ones that are not owned. 
I don't want to buy stuff for this, though. Create a 1-1 one -one core warrior. You may attach an equipment you control to it. Okay. I mean, maybe. Helm of the shit's lotus ring. Equipped creature gets plus three and has a vigilance. And tap. Sacrifice this creature, add three mana of any color. Equip three. That's pretty good. Lost Jitte. Whenever an equipped creature deals combat damage, put a charge counter on Lost G. Remove a charge counter from Lost Jitte. Choose one. Stuff. Yeah, Sagada's aid. I mean, I fucking hate playing against that. I don't even have it. One rare. You may cast or an equipment as though they had flash. Whenever it enters, you may attach it to somebody. All right, already up to 53. Um, okay, they did put the lands in for me. We'll do the lands as well, boys. Well, the means. Legion's land in. Probably can't hurt. That's fine. Surveil lands are pretty nice. If a red source, that's uh, probably nothing. Sacred foundry, yep. I don't want the temples, not with the other fetch fetchable stuff. Cavern of Souls, just to protect the commander, I guess. Oish. Polluted Delta. Nope. Windswept Heath for white. Yes. Wooded Foothills for red. Yep. Uh huh. Is that all? Hmm. I feel like there must be something missing. All right, that's good. That's also fine. Forty lands. That's the default. Forty lands is right. It's not Umizawa's G or GT. It's another one, and it's expensive. Um, and I don't think I'm using it anywhere. Untap target land. Target creature can't block this turn. That's such an odd one. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage, so attacks have already happened. Target creature can't block this turn. No, that's wrong. I'm I'm sorry. That's not how this works. Remove you remove a counter. I she now, boyish. Okay, so when it does damage, you put a counter on it, and then you take counters off as you choose. Target creature can't block. Put one one counter on a quick creature. Equip one. It is very strong. It is very strong. Ugh, but is it worth paying shits for a deck that's going straight in the bin? Lance. Is it any good for a deck that goes in the bin? Boyish. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So what kind of creatures do you want with this kind of shit? I've played against this, so there must be a there must be an existing net deck. For Mirrodin, I remember hearing things that create things that create tokens. Right, so if I type for Mirrodin, I think that should be a key thingy magic. Yeah. So it's five to to do all of that shit. I'm trying to think of the ones that I've played against.
When it enters the battlefield, conjure a card named Goblin Shit to the field. Oh! They, they all create a, a token. It doesn't matter. It, it's the equip that's different. I see. I see. So, I, like I say, I have played against full net deck versions of this, so I'm just going to end up making a vastly inferior version. But I guess it's all for the main point, so it doesn't matter. For Mirrodin. Equip creature gets plus 0, plus 1. But equip is only 2. Equip creature has flying. Equip is 3. The cost is 4. Equip creature has first strike and trample. I think that's something I play against. Blade holder cleaver. Creature gets plus two. Whenever equipped creature dies, draft a card from Blade Hold Cleaver's spellbook. Equip is three. Hmm. Hmm. Four Mirrodin. So, oh, let me see what yeah. What else do you get? I remember all these lands. I remember all these lands from Scars of Mirrodin. Look at that, boys. Back when girls were girls. Hey, hero of Bladehold. Hero of Bladehold is on it. Well, I keep fucking clicking it over. All right. We'll definitely play this. But how's the deck not going to be fucking balls? How's the deck not going to be balls? I should have just neck decked it. I should have neck decked it. So, Outlaws of Thunderbollocks. No, it was the swords, because I have all the swords, was the reason. So, I can't even play Bitter Blossom, because that's not in the game. It's, I mean, it's in the game, but it's black. Hmm. Enchantment that makes a creature every turn. There's a load. There's got to be loads. There's got to be loads in this fucking shit game. I know the one I'm thinking of. High Noon. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. And then it does five damage when you're bored of it. Hmm, that might be good. Journey to Nowhere. That's pretty good as well, boys. Journey to Nowhere might go in the enchantment dude thing. You could use that knight in Mardu. No, it, not if it's Mardu. Uh, it'd have to be the commander. Hmm. Oh, Hive, yeah. Path of Metal, I think, is a blood of old balls. Alright. This is actually going to be difficult. Because i got to put 40 cards in. I gotta put 40 cards in, and I don't know... I don't know how I'm gonna get anywhere close to that. Beko says, I just had sex with gorgeous Italian and Colombian prostitutes. It was amazing. I love Amsterdam. Boish. The man's having a wonderful time. The man is living the, the boogie dream. And I can't do anything except congratulate someone. As long as you don't wake up with the clap then clearly it has been a wonderful time. And now you're watching someone play Magic the Gathering. So it just couldn't be a better day. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. Boys. All right. Uh, so if we're going to have to put creatures in, I think indestructible boys are, are an annoyance. I know there's at least two. Especially one that's completely broken. So final showdown, blow up all the boys. You know I love blowing up the lance. Dauntless bodyguard is probably shit. Savior. I mean, these are not actual indestructible, obviously. Discard a card. Tap season hollow balls against indestructible. All right. Oh, Vanguard. That's right. What else can we use? Face man dog bollocks. 
Helion for the memes. Boys. Bit of a Helion for the memes. Crested Sun Mare. Don't know how we're gaining any life. Uh, Brash Tauna. Okay. Isn't there a new one of these? I, th I think I saw that. Akiri, whenever you attack a player with one or more equipped creatures, draw a card. You may unattach an equipment. If you do, all right, that sounds probably fine. Perforos for the memes. I think we'll put all the gods in. Odrich. When Odrich enters the battlefield, create X bloods, where X is the number of abilities among bollocks. No, Tajic can definitely be played. And I won't even feel bad, because it's not my commander. He's just being a memer. Boish. Rizoni Asari Commander. Whenever Rizoni Asari Commander deals combat damage to a player, if it doesn't have an indestructible counter on it, put an indestructible counter on it. Whenever combat damage is dealt to you, remove an indestructible counter from Rizona. Alright, we could try Winota. Shadow shit's probably fine. Forgot all about that, boy. Eater of Virtue. Whenever a creature dies. I mean, I'm only putting this in because it gets played against me. That's it. The One Ring is not an equipment. Ulamog. Don't know what the fuck. Oh, he is indestructible, I see. We're looking for the world indestructible. The world. The word indestructible. Monument, bollocks. All of this is a load of shit. All right, still 30 cards, man. That is just too many cards. Let's just bang in some cheap creatures then. Captain Ball Bags, fine. Bloodthirsty Adversary. No, that's just a robber of the shits, fine. There's got to be more than two mana. Oh, okay, I've said Mythic, sorry. Say eight rares as well. Any other shouts, boys? Any other shouts? Which parsley juice did you pick? What were they like? Were they on the beefy side? Massive tits, long backs, two for one specials, or was it just uh, you know over two nights? Double the eights, all for me. Priest of possibility. When it enters a battlefield, look at the top seven. If a card among them has flying, Priest of Possibility perpetually gains flying. The same is true for First Strike, Double Strike, Death Touch, Haste. No. Aspirant is good. Fiddlemanger. Sacrifice an artifact, look for an artifact. I mean, maybe. Evangel is often annoyingly bollocks. We still have so many cards. So many cards to bang in. I literally don't know why we, I decided to do this. Other than for the memes. Lizard Blades, double strike, equipped creature has double strike. Alright, I mean all of these equipment creatures are probably good. Magda, the sexy midge. A smoldering egg. Some other shit. Swifty boy. Alright, that's it says the word equipment, so I'm sticking it in. Ominous Traveller. Now we're down to 20. Alright, I think... The fact there's zero removal means that that needs to change. Right, boys? Zero instant. And there's no sweepers. That's not my style. So we'll take that, we'll take this, take that. Hmm. I don't think we'll play that. Soul partition, all the usual. This thing. Settle the aids. I'm not a big settler fan anymore. Bone Crusher Giant is a two for one, sort of. 
Okay. What else is a often used removalage? Hmm. Loyal Warhound is good. Beko says thin, nubile, pale Italian, black hair, perfect arse. Colombian was blonde, cute, and tanned. I'm coming back with a thousand dollars to get my brains fucked as shit. Lads, what an absolute man of the people. What a man of the peeps. I mean, in a prostitute legal place where you know you're very unlikely to catch AIDS and you had a wonderful time and nobody robbed you and uh, no pimp stuck a dildo up your ass while you wasn't watching, it does sound like unbelievable magics. One reprieve for the memes. Ninjas. Uh, what else? Loyal Warhound. All right, I'll stick Warhound in. Oh, we're looking for a removalage. That was the point. Stroke of Midnight has always been good. Um, so, let's see. Narset was what I wanted to type in. But it's not right. Not Narset. Uh, Chandra. We'll try and set somebody's balls on fire. Chandra. Not the and this one. Fuck it. We gotta fill this shit. And this one. We gotta fill the thing up. Warhound. Land tax. Land tank. All right, six more cards. Twenty-four lads. Eleven equipment. I have no idea if that's if that's the right numbers. Let's see how many indestructible gods we can also bang in. Redain? Why not? I mean, it ruins games if you get it out on three and they've got loads of shit. Wrath of God! I do like blowing up all the lands. Deedly dee. These gods die. Hmm... Search a light. Okay, we'll play that if you can find something. What about these two lads? As long as you have one or fewer cards in hand, it has vigilance and haste. That's unlikely to happen. Whenever they attack, look at the top six cards of your library. Exile a legendary. Yeah. I mean, if you play it as a commander dedicated to having no cards, I think that's very good. You think I need more equipment? No, okay. Oh, the, li the lightning greaves. Oh, the new boots. The new boots. The new boots from Thunder Pubes Junction, I think. I think I'm fairly certain that they're legal. Yeah, lava spur boots. Okay, boys. That is a good H. Lightning greaves. Is that what they're called here? Or are they called Swiffer boots? Sorry. Uh, okay. Easy quench, One more. One more for the road, boys. What will we be choosing? You know what we should play? We should pick out uh, Beko's next prostitute. It should be a community effort. For a thousand dollars, how many different uh, peeps can you see? I'm guessing it, that must be close to must be close to 10. Like $100 a bam. Unless they are high-class magics. If they're high-class magics, then maybe... What? 300 on the top end, if it's Amsterdam. And it's not like the girlfriend experience. Is that not what you would think, boy? Shh.
Is that not what you would think, Lance? For 1k, you could easily get 10. Well, I don't know if it's safe to look on any, like, escort websites, because they, naturally, they might have their tits out. You know, it's an actual prostitution website. Otherwise, you know, we are playing pretty much meat markets with actual human beings, and I don't know if that is good enough to crack any matters. But, like, otherwise, all of my votes are just going to be for the thickest and the fattest. Thickest thighs, fattest tits, darkest skin, probably. White girls, they just don't cut the mustard, if you ask me, boys. But I bet you I end up marrying a white girl for the memes. One more card. I don't give a fuck what it is. Any mythic that costs four... Third page, third card is going in. Third page. Third card. Bam. Easy quench. Easy quench, boys. There we go. Just so I know what it is. Okay, boys. Now we're going to have an absolutely grim time cracking the matter for the memes. And then we will have to say, rub my balls. So, nothing here. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, the deck. Oh, my lord. Oh, here it is. I was going to say, maybe it's giving me AIDS. Good luck with the magic chick. He's going to go to sleep. He's all banged out. All right, we're going to have to do... Uh, I don't know. I don't know how we played this game, really. I think I know. Maybe if he puts three pictures in the Discord, I think that's the game. If he puts three pictures in the Discord, we can do a poll, and whoever wins gets the meat. I think that's a game of magics. You know, you won't catch that on Cocaine's probably, but you might get it on anyone else's who's got an OnlyFans and the rest of that shit. But I also respect OnlyFans, so rub my balls. Okay, boys, we got spells and we got dates. That's what we like. Is that not what we like, boys? Boys, is that not what we like? So, for Mirrodin, for as long as you shabbat it what do you get out of this? A 2-2... Mm-hmm. And how does this work? It gets cheaper for each equipment that you have. Does this e exist as an equipment? She's had this a lot, this sword. Nahiri's blade. Is that such a thing? Boys. Nahiri's blade. Oh man, Piece of Peace is doing a restream out of nowhere. Boys, what an absolute treat for the lance. Also, this guy's dead. Never mind. Boys. Lads. Dudes. Dudes. This girl is has just fully, fully got what it takes. To be one of the boys in Mujiks. I I mean, it's just guaranteed. Look at that cosplay. Top quality shit. Top quality cosplay Mujiks. Wizards will absolutely bend over backwards to have this at the next Kamigawa release. Who else? Talia Tits can run the dress-up show again. Boish, everything's going to be unreal. Nerdy Senpai is part of the gang. Not our gang, obviously. But the gang. Boys, easy quench. I mean, it's just all tits pictures. It's I've never seen anything more magic. So what were we doing? Oh, piece of piece. 
Let's see what he's up to, boys. I thought I saw he was life. He is life. He almost gave me the scams. It won't That's overlay good. my head. So, yes, if you like this concept tonight, if you're here relaxing, oh, and no. interacting, and having a good time. <laughs> Don't do a restream of him talking about Fallout. I actually haven't seen the last episode. Uh, I mean, it's nice to have Piece of Peace not give up on doing the restreams after we were talking about it earlier. But, boys, what are you going to do? What can you ever do? Boys, in a game of magic. Anyone else ever been to a legalized area for prostitution? Boys, I mean, we're all getting to that age. We're all getting to that age where the likelihood of us banging a massive titted... 21 year old sexy whore is getting lower and lower and one day I mean you might just start getting free passes from all of your favorite slash and if that were to happen boyish what would you choose or would it just be like genuinely Getting the Argos catalog out and just, just making sure everything shattered in average. So I don't think you can have a Lotus Cobra. I think a Lotus Cobra does more damage to you than you trying to do something else. Especially when I don't know what I'm doing at all. So that, boys, uh, is the Minch or something. That, Lanch is definitely how we shatter the meeps. Boys. Oh, don't tell me. Is this the same guy that I played a minute ago who was stalling the game? I don't think it is. But that's the second Yarrick dude in a row who's done that. Let me she... Alright, it doesn't sound like he's dead. No, he's not dead. And it wasn't the same guy. The last guy was called Munz. Or something like that. Okay, Moe, shush, shabba, bada, 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 And then we shall see about shattering the matters. Okay, boys. Okay, sweet. I've always thought that. Well, I mean, when I was growing up, when I was growing up, I always thought banging prostitutes was cheating. It was cheating to get your scores up on how many girls you had flambeed. But now I'm a mature adult. I realize that's not important, Lance. Equip creature has fly, and equip creatures that are equipped get plus one. All right, so what do I want to play? He's got one green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven mana. I think maybe it's just this. I mean, I'm behind on lands, actually. I mean, ahead, sorry. So, casting this is not all that good. But we will shortly see what we can do, boys. Yarrick, no removals at the moment. No removal inch, boys! Oh, there's no card draw in the whole deck, either. Oh, search your shit for an equipment of any kind. Okay, boys, I see how this can be easy quack job use or something. Oh, 
All right, so all my eggs are in the Nahiri basket. One sacrifice card. And I'm probably going to end up dead of eight. Oh my god, I'm really good at budget. All right, I knew that was I knew all that was going to happen. I knew all of that was on the boyish. Eh. Absolutely incredible stuff. Boys. Assassin's trophy, that's not fair. We were cracking Demetra. Okay, I mean, that's still uh, fine. Oh, now it won't do, it won't do all of its abilities. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a way for me to get rid of that thing. We'll see. But this is very good. Forging the sword. Very good, boyish. Hey, Lanch. Talk about getting me. getting a little warm in here. Hmm. Sagada's aid's probably good, isn't it? We do love a bit of the aids. We do love a bit of the age. Boys, I might be shattering the meter as we speak. Oh, no. Unbelievable aids. So... Despite apparently being a, despite apparently being a thingy deck, uh, what's the word? I like your energy. Dildo's deck. We might end up with our spot of age. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's just plop some boys and see what happens. Not being on fire problem. All right, I don't. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I play some spells. Hopefully, everything costs one, and uh, it's easy quacks or something. And at the end of the day, oh, we will. Have enough meat in the balls to slap it up on the tubes. Incredible scenes. Led. Unbelievable eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana for the boy as it stands. I have to assume he is not throwing his toys out the pram. It doesn't really seem like a Toys Out the Pram kind of game. No. I told you, boy, she was bigger than Mima. So, when Diddly D does something, say Diddly D. So, protection from blue and black. Somebody else can fly. I don't know why that is. is uh, Still make it a noise. Is that how they're going to do this? I can't imagine. That's got to be a glitch. That's got to be a graphical mistake. I can't imagine that that's Wizard's new thing. So, yeah, the boots. The boots are going to be such a problem. I mean, there might already be a problem. Things are about to get out of hand. Things are about to get age, boys. Things are about to get a little bit age. Boyish things were already eight. 
slap it up on the tubes. Cracked. Another beautiful bit of magics. For the memes. Boish, another day has been cracked. Unbelievable age, boy. Nahiri. Again, I think we'll play another couple. We'll see what, uh, yeah, we'll see. What's the time? 3.18. And now that my boy Poop is a long line, I might just say GG's, boys. If you can support the channel that Oh, way. straight away, straight away, guys. Eyebrows raised. Absolute fear in the man's eyes. If you can support the channel, please, guys, I need money. I spent a thousand dollars this week on WWE Champs. Be outstanding. I'm looking to get more content for this channel. Right now, this channel. It's the eyebrows. It's the non-stop eyebrows that always gets me. Eyebrows out the top of the head, pretty much. Unbelievable scenes. Lord Xander. Okay, boys. That guy might be a bit of a memeloid. That my guy might be a bit of a memeloid, but we'll figure it out. It's basically once a week a show called DSP vs. the Internet, and that's it. Wow. I haven't really put other content on the channel regularly. If this works as a Check format the data. of a show, Check in the people data. like it and show up and engage and support it, I likely will try to do more of these this year. Guys, you've got to step up and, and, and engage and support. I.E., you have to step up and give me all your money. Otherwise, fuck this. Otherwise, fuck it, boish. Fuck it. But also not fuck it, because he's not going away. He's not doing anything else. And, you know, we can expand upon it and figure out, do we just want to do TV shows? Do we want to do movies? Do we want to do video games? Do Is this a way, an interactive review of a video game, right? Snort. Oh, yeah, Chemical Goods, you got to leave if you don't want spoilers, dude. Seriously, don't even... As soon as I start recording in, like, five, ten minutes, you got to get out of here, because right off the bat, I'm going to talk about spoilers about gotta this get show. Well, you gotta, gotta get, get out of here. Gotta get first thing we're doing is, you know, no one can get in trouble for spoilers on this stream, because it's assumed that you've seen the show or don't care. All right, spoiler yeah. alert. Your wife is fat as fuck. Oops, <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the fucking view count up. Good what are my overall channel. thoughts on Fallout? Oh, it's terrible. Horrible series. Really awful. You know, hey, hey he's doing a joke, series, guys. You know, guys, he's writing, doing a joke. Terrible gameplay. He's awful. doing a jokes. <laughs> That's why I play them all as they come out. Guys, right? we love the fake laughs. Play through some most of them. You know, we love the fake laughs here, boys. Garbage game, garbage game, garbage, garbage story, yeah. garbage lore. And look, garbage look, look at something. him just like mumble, mumble, oh, mumbly mumble, boys. We do like the mumbly mumble, boys. Multiple playthroughs of most of them. You know, the garbage, garbage gameplay, garbage games, garbage story, garbage lore. Trash. Oh, not this guy, but at least it's not, Comment um... says, I've been watching... Commander. I've been playing Fallout New Vegas yes, sir, to get ready to watch the show. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, well, wait, if you haven't seen the show, you should not be here. I'm serious. You guys are going to get spoiled, man. You guys are going to... Don't worry, I won't, uh... I won't let it play into the spoilage. Uh, I just think this is insane thing Jordan, to do. thank you for a super chat. Do you think you should go back and watch game trailers to compare how they accurately portray the games? That's not a bad uh, thing, except uh, he hasn't oh, got any that's talent. that's an interesting concept. Like, he hasn't got any talent to do it, which is the problem. All right, boys. I don't know about you, but I don't think I can cast a spell. Yeah, that's about it. Good stuff. That's the problem with building a deck in five minutes. <laughs> it's, uh, it is it is likely to fall flat on its ass, And it's not even that fun. Hmm, maybe we'll go back to it. Let's have another couple of, uh... I want to play this. No, but let's do... I mean, this has got the most new cards, so let's do that. And afterwards, I kind of want to play Broken Sword or Atom Eve. One of those two should be on the list for things to do. Uh, I don't know I want to play Mono Blue. I don't know if that's in the, the future for me, Lance. I mean, well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see, boys. What are you getting so mad about, someone else? Mm. 
What are you getting your balls all twisted up about? Wobbly AIDS lands for the AIDS? Spreading seas. Spread my cheeks, boys. Unbelievable stuff. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted land is an island. Okay, so this is just flat blue. Alright, boys. Fair enough. Oracle of the Bullbags. Oh man, Oracle of the Bollocks being flipped around is going to be a pain in this shit. Alright, I don't think I want either of these. Oh man, he's going to get the flips. He's going to get double Oracle, boys. <sighs> that is unfortunate me, Mitch. Although he does seem to be thinking about it. What if I got Wash Away? What if I were to have Wash Away or Spell Pierce? He seems like a Wash Away, Spell Pierce kind of a land himself. Counter Spell to the top, I would think. Is he gonna go for it? He's not gonna go for it, Lance. He's going to go for the Minge. But he's getting lucky because I drew absolute dildos. Unfortunate Minge. Who knew one mountain uh, to island would cause me literally all of my problems? Can't cast this, can't cast that. I would never have imagined, boys. I would never have imagined in all of my days that I might end up with a spot of eights. Ristic study is extremely good though. Uh huh, also useless bollocks. <laughs> it's really amazing actually. This would have been really good to exile his graveyard. Oh my god, another uncastable shit. Well, at least I could cast it next turn. Into a counter spell, I would assume. But we will carry on having to see. Boish. We will carry on having to see. Ristic study against mono blue is basically everybody's dream. But even then, they might be coming down with a spot of the eight. Mm-hmm. All right. So he's he sold encounters for sure. Well, I say for sure, I presume. So we'll play big score. You may cast target non-land permanent from their graveyard. Alright, I mean, tiny knobs might actually be something then at some stage if you get a free oracle. We'll see! Lots of things to she -boish, but also a lot of aids to catch. I guess we'll have to see how it goes. <sighs> One, two, three, four. Let's just say... Four counter spells. If that's the case, what are we doing? This is a wonderful game, my boyish. Uh, Alright. 
Uh, can we play tiny bollocks? One, two, three, four, five. I don't think so. I don't think I want to play this game out. It's fucking boring as AIDS. Like, just such typical mono blue shit. Such typical hold the fucking priority for five minutes, then pass. I mean, fuck it. Fuck it. Alright, I want to play uh, Broken Sword for half an hour. So we'll play Broken Sword until four. This is the last game of Magic. Okay, boys. Okay, a oh, sweet. Play this a little spicy bit of Broken Sword. Just so we all remember where we are in the story. Oh, we just got to the Catalonian church. The Sans, Sans the Eights. And someone was shooting at us. But we're going to have to check loads of matters, boys. Insatiable Avarice. Search a library for a card, put that card on top. And then two extra to draw it. Okay, boys, this should be easy quench. Hopefully this guy plays a two-mana spell. Otherwise, we might be getting eights. Okay, that's good. Uh, the problem, though, the problem is that he's always going to have haste. And that is a problem. But we shall see. Uh, oh, that can get killed. Unbelievable stuff. Uh, all fucking wank, I think. One, two, three. Okay, boys. Oh, it might be a call for Shweepy Mugish, but that's what that's that's what this is for. Uh -huh, hey, hey, bada -boom, bada -boom, bada -boom. All right, let's uh, make sure I can afford it. Yeah, I, I can. Oh man, this is tricky. Because I can only destroy dragons then. But what if he doesn't get dragons? What if he gets some other eights? Hmm, <laughs> that is a tough one, boys. Alright, I'll believe. No lands and all that shit, that's classic. No lands in all the land balls. Easy, my jeez. But that looked like a pretty good spell. Apart from the fact that in this deck, I take a lot of damage. I do think this is going to be good. Alright. I don't even have to blow up Ragavan. But that's four mana. That's four mana, boys. And he plays blue. And I've got eights. Oh, I didn't get Crux of Fate. I thought I, I thought this guy would live. I thought he would live, but he didn't live. Ne never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Haste. Uh -huh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. I wonder if I can play Boobalax and have Doomblade. I think I probably can. But, what is the play? Ward is two, so this is effectively five. I'm going to play Crucius instead. Boys, I think our pal Bubalax is going to have to go in the bin. And I'm going to have to try and win with an Emirates. I 
think that's the play. Terror of the Peaks, pretty good, but I can't be indulging my own balls like that. Okay, boys. Three bits. If you can tell me the story of this set, says someone else. I can't. Whatever's going on, I don't know what it is. Whatever's going on, all I can really say is that there are a lot of cowboy lands fucking about. And a lot of boys saying GG Jack Steach as well. Is this guy also going to be saying GG's? Is this guy also going to be saying a bit of GG's XD's? Lance. Don't mana train me. Alright. I was worried there, boys, that a mana drain was going to wreck my puge. Okay, boys. Copy target spell, doppelgang banger, <laughs> and old Norbollocks. What are we going to do about this? So we'll do that for nothing. I need to sacrifice something. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Easy quench. Easy quench, boys. It was dangerous for a minute there, but in the end, I was extremely good at magix. It was dangerous for a minute. So, oh, oh ba honestly, based off the story from what I can tell, I think... If such a thing can be thunk, I think that... Um, Alright, so I can blow everybody up except this, but I don't think that's smart. I don't think it's smart enough. See? Oh boy, show It was unbelievable change the whole time. So what does this do? Dragon spells cost one less. Whenever a dragon enters a battlefield under your control, you may have Sarkhan turn into it. Alright, I don't think we can have that. Agreed, boyish. I am fairly certain it was agreed. Alright, this guy's got a lot of manage. But what can he do with it? Except die, I suppose. Never mind. That was kind of close. In the end. But ultimately, I was extremely good at Majich. I think it's a Borderlands heist. I think it's a Borderlands. Every character went to West Westworld for a party. And then they wanted to loot the sexy vault, and they thought there was going to be untold treasure, but it was just a lad. Literally, the story of Borderlands. But, never mind this cheeky guy's face. It was GG's XD's the whole time, boys. It was GG's XD's the whole time. Alright, half an hour of Broken Bollocks, or 25 minutes now. And then I think... That will be the end of the match. Another quick check on our new number one mythic. Unbelievable siege. Boyish. Incredible stuff. Just beautiful match. Don't know why she's got a toilet roll. I mean, uh, toilet's cleaner. Five foot four. Nine even. Five foot four would be something. Look, four, four foot nine. That's the one. All right. What are we doing? Turn off the thing. Nope, that's not right. Turn off the thing so that we can boot up the mange. 
Hold on, boys. We're doing some behind-the-scenes means. You know that everything's fine because Merchant is still looking upon thee with top quackage. And, uh, everything should be in order for the memes. Everything should be in order for a game of Magic of the Gathering. Yeah, alright. So, someone was shooting at us. I can't exactly remember what was going on, so let's just have a look. The place looked run down and deserted. It did look run down and deserted, boys. Hat on the floor. Easy quench. I don't know why I'm her when this other guy's here. He's normally the main character. Parts of the wall had fallen down. Parts of the wall had fallen down, boys. What have I got? A phone, a card, a mop, and a hat. <laughs> okay. Can I get to the other side? No. All right, I'm on the this side. Would still be watching us. Okay, I boys. Offer him something for target practice. Okay. Parts of the wall had fallen down. But nothing. Why Parts do I have a mop? Had Where down. do I even get a mop from? Hmm. I mean, she. A helmet on a pole. Always useful. A helmet on a pole, boys. Sounds like a dick on a stick. <laughs> okay, I guess he'll shoot at the hat. Uh, and then he can run inside. No. I needed a better idea. Nope, boys. Alright, what else have we got? Card on the hat. It didn't work. It didn't work, guys. It didn't work. The mop had bore an uncanny resemblance to Josh's hair. Okay, maybe I give it to him then. Look, a helmet on the <laughs> Okay. Board. Are you okay, Nico? It's the perfect decoy. Keep your head down if you're going to wave that thing around. Oh, hey, boys. The mountains made a magnificent backdrop. Oh. Shame the place was left to fall apart. If I'm targeting the mountains, then that is why that didn't work. Target the house. I needed to try something else. Okay, I guess we'll not try the house. We'll figure it out, though. Old house. Crumbled wall. Must be that. Oh, I just hope this works. Are you ready? Can't wait. Go! Oh my lord, he must make a reference to this being in the first game. Oh no. Yeah. I'd made it without getting shot, but I sure didn't feel lucky. This was the very Somehow, first... I had to distract the shooter again, and this time, I was on my own. With a ghost from the past giving me an evil stare. This was the very first puzzle that I ever couldn't solve in a point and click. In the very first game, the trick was to run one way and then run the other way really quickly. Which I obviously tried first, but be because nothing in point and clicks ever came down to like physical quickness, I just assumed that wasn't right. And it got to the point where I had to read a guide, and the second I read a guide, I'm like, well, the whole thing's pointless now. And that was that, boyish. I never finished Broken Sword 1 for that reason. The tree was way too sturdy for me to shake any apples down. Alright. Oh, this guy might be able to knock uh -oh. an apple. Yep. Uh oh, you're gonna get shot in the fucking ass now. Literally, easy, easy sights. Alright, I see. Presumably. Ripe apples hung from the tree. All right, I don't know why I need an apple, but that's the thing with point and clicks. You never know why you do anything until you do it. Oh, heck. All right, we'll jump out of the way. Yeah, there you go. Dodge. It said dodge. 
in the last in the first game it didn't say anything. All right, we got some apples now, boys. The apples were bruised. And somebody's trying to shoot at me. I think bruised apples aren't a big problem. Okay. Can I just walk over to these apples? A pile of apples had just been laid on a sheet. Okay. Just out of the goat's reach. Okay, so the goat wants an apple, I suppose. Hey, Mr. Goat. Uh, look what I got for you. I was hoping the goat would be more friendly now. All right, we'll see if that's the case. Now then, old fella, you don't mind if I move your tire, do ya? No. All right, he's my lad now. No, he's not. I thought he was my lance. I gave him an apple. All right. The old car was riddled with bullet holes. Good goat. Is he really not my know. lad? He really isn't. What a little slag. What a little slag. Okay. Hey, that's mine. What did the he take? The goat had eaten Hobbs' carefully crafted provenance. Oh, no. We lost the provenance, boys. Now we haven't got any fake documents uh. to chat any meter. Uh. A biscuit, maybe? Set it on fire? Now, I needed the cookie to feed Trevor. Okay. Flowers? Look what I got for you, little fella. Alright, well, that didn't do anything. The crumbling fountain wouldn't provide me with any cover. Okay, so what am I actually doing? Oh, the car door is... Okay, the side mirror... The, the whole car thing is what I'm looking for. I'm going to give him apples again and see if I can run around quickly. Just like the first game. Hey, Mr. Goat. Uh, look what I got for you. No, he's eating them really quickly. The goat wasn't going to let me get to the car door. Okay. The side view mirror lay too far into goat territory. Okay. Oh, maybe I throw the apple away and he runs after it. Let's try it that way. Go on. Eat this, boy. <laughs> I outsmarted a goat, boyish. The goat couldn't reach the apple pile. You son of a bitch. Okay. We'll see if it goes in the bottles then. Oh boy, you're gonna love this. Can I reach that one? I distracted the goat, but it wouldn't take him long to eat that apple. Alright, we'll kick this tire. Hurry up! Surely a goat could have the strength to move fucking move a tire. Okay. He should have just flung it over here. He realized he's been hoodwinked. He realized he's been hoodwinked, boys. Alright. He's off. The goat now had a whole pile of apples to tuck into. Alright. Presumably I they're tossed rotten. In my last apple. Presumably they're mildly rotten and they're fermenting and he is definitely going to get whizzed out of his ass. Easy quicks, boys. Easy quicks. What are we doing with this mirror? I'm such a seasoned point-and-click lad. I bet you... I bet you we used a mirror to, to splash the sun in the guy's eye. The shots were coming from inside the house. That's what I think, Bosch, but I presume we can still do some stuff with the car. Uh. 
Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Why are you still scared of the goat? Even while he was eating, the goat had his eye on me. All right. Can I move the tire again? I'd moved the tire further away from the car. We'll move it even further A away. A pile of old brandy bottles had been discarded behind the car. The view was beautiful. I wish I had time to enjoy it. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you flash it into his eye. I blinded the I don't know why it literally killed him. <laughs> like a fucking vampire or something. Don't think I can't see you, senor. If you so much as move an inch, I shall shoot you. All right, well, we're just talking, you old bitch. Senor, please. Whoever you are, hold your fire. I'm not armed. Good. That makes it easier for me to shoot you. My name is George Stobart. I'm a friend. I have no friends. Oh, this is literally well, DSP in the snort for. What are we going to do? Shoot him? All we want is a quick look inside the castell. I don't believe you. You are here to kill Senor Marquez. Senor Marquez? He's alive? Well, he'll vouch for us. You don't fool me like that. Get out of here before I kill you. Senor Marquez knows me, I swear. It's a bold old bastard. And I know a lie when I hear one. Yeah, well, we haven't got his old pictures. Shoot. Wait, Boom. I have important information. Buste. Oh, my Vingyan. lord. We got squibbled. Boy, we got the old Do raptor double shit. understand hits. what I am saying? Try saying it and let's see. Ah, well, uh, I'm George Stobar, and I come in peace. You're pretty sexy. Hey, what's happening? Do you mind putting that down? I've had a really bad day. Guns don't agree with you? Uh, no, and neither do goats. I've got bruises in places that, well, you know, places. So leave. We're here looking for something. Well, go look for it somewhere else. But I don't want to, boys. But I don't want to. What are we doing? Uh, we got, I mean, it's obvious. We got tons of things that's going to convince her. Please, put the gun down. I'm not armed. And I'm still not hearing an explanation. All I right. can understand the old man being edgy, but you look like a woman who's seen the world. Nice work. How does she you look like she's seen the world more than an old man? In one sentence. Exactly, fucking dweeb. Have a look at my cockroach, you silly old bitch. Hold it. I'll hold it. I'll hold it for you, you slag. Alright, which one do you think? The medallion? The old photo? I mean, technically this could trigger her into shooting me. But I think this is a video game, and we'll get away with it. Don't move your hands. Have a look, you stupid bitch. We were helping a man called Marquez in Paris. He is my father. I could see where she inherited her temperament. Your father? Well, he's our friend. Why should I believe you? Show me proof. Well, it's, uh, it just happens to be in my pocket. Let me unzip it. Look at this photo. It's old. Do I care? You don't know your own gran, you fucking old bitch. All right, what about this? I have your father's medallion. So you're a thief too, huh? Yep. I mean, I guess she doesn't care. How about this? It smells great. How about this? That's not proof. Try again. How about the Melodixio? The actual Melodixi Tweeble. We track down his painting. La Melodixio? Look. Where did you get this? From a hole in the wall. In London. Hmm. All right. You better come with me, but no funny business, okay? No, 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 no. That's like what you mean by Nico. funny business. Nico! It depends what she means by funny business. But he, how did he get here? Wasn't he in the parish? Being a memer a minute ago. Ramon. 
Who's out there? Some crazy American. Don't worry. Eva will deal with him. Papa. Damn, she's probably stacked. These people want to talk to you. Eva. Stacked? I thought we agreed to shoot intruders on sight. You? How did you find me? It wasn't easy, senor. We thought you were dead. You were wrong. They've brought you something, Papa. Can it be? At last, la malediction. Put it straight on the wall where everybody can see. And steal it again. Well, Senor Marquez, looks like la malediction hangs in its right place again. Indeed. I have waited all my life for this. But something interesting? The painting. It is different. Khan's the face, face in the middle. The one with the symbol of the tabula veritatis on it? How do you know about the tabula? A priest told me. Said it was the devil's work. Pa! Priests. Full of lies, every one of them. Oh, it's really? Jesus' work. Well, this priest said that the tabula was an instrument to raise the devil. Fool. Who would want to raise the devil? But you do want to find the tabula. Yes. Because it is a Gnostic treasure. It is special. And my duty is to keep it safe. I was sure that Marquez still wasn't telling me the whole truth. And now? I shall decipher the painting and find the tabula. Before she died, my mother said that once the painting hung here again, its meaning would become clear, and the root to the tabula would be revealed. All right, so what's the answer? Where's the tabula? I don't know. The room has changed. Was there something different about the room back then? My mom and dad were alive and they were standing oh. there. Yes, I don't know. You must help me. Well, how? I, I'm not a Gnostic. Senor, you must, because soon the Russian will be here. Uh -oh, he knows about wins. Castel del Sanz? I regret, senor, that in Paris I told his sidekick a little too much. Ah. Well, I guess we better figure this out. And fast. I'll go and keep watch. He'll go and keep watch. Watch on watch. sight, remember. He wash on my balls. Well, Look Nico, at those bayonets and that sultry walk. You try and work out just why the painting has to be in this room. All right, it's because I of this. I can already tell. Anything. I can already tell, boys. It's going to be something to do with the sun at one o'clock. I was sure. Marquez had the answers. It's going to be the sun's going to come in and it's going to burn a hole in them painting and this guy's going to shoot me in the knob uh, and we're all going to grab that woman's tits on our way out and then the devil's going to come out the fireplace and we're all going to die of it. It was a circular stained glass window. Everybody knows every stained glass window is point and click solutions. Okay, we might have to move the shields around, I presume. So let's have a look at the painting. I had to get closer before trying that. You're literally next to it. A maledizio, back in its rightful place. But back in its place. What were the clues? What were the clues, boyish? What are the clues? What am I looking at? Oh, do I have to put something on a plinth? There was a statue by the fountain. The plinths looked like they could be rotated. Okay. The plinths looked like they could be rotated. All right. Now I don't know what I'm doing. The painting held all the answers. The Tower of Saints had led us to the castell. I wondered where the other priests this? would take us. The priest with a lock on his mouth. The priest appeared to have a padlock through his mouth. He was pointing down to the ring below him. Okay, and the ring is this castle. There was a tower within the ring. Maybe it indicated a place? Hmm? What about Karn? A scarred face stared back at me from within the Ouroboros. Hobbes must have uncovered the image when he was restoring the painting. But what did it mean? And what was its link to the Tabula Veritatis? Mm -hmm. Is this going to be something super tough that I can't actually solve. A symbol was cut into the man's forehead. 
Simeon had claimed that it was the sign of the Tabula Veritatis. Dog-headed man. It was the figure of a priest, but with a dog's head. The figure was pointing up at a ring above him. This is like village, I suppose. Inside the ring was what looked like an affluent town. Within the ring, there were a number of houses. It was a village or a small town. Inside the ring was a castle gate. I had no idea what it signified. Mm, mm. What's Heliod up to? The bearded figure was similar to the one on the fireplace in the hall. I wondered if there was a connection. The fireplace the orb in the hall. In the old man's hand glowed with a green light. Oh, I remember. Wasn't there like something here that was just full of fucking colors and shits? Nope. I needed to try something else. Oh, uh, no. This is going to be a pain in the balls. But that's what point and clicks really are. Uh, so I'm glad we found something like that. I wondered if the notes could help decrypt La Maledictio. Yeah, I'm certain they can. Oh, my lord, look at all this. This is going to be an absolute nightmare, boys. Uh, and thus spoke the accused. The first passage read, And thus spoke the accused. In this ritual we find succor. Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, toward the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, the credentes look the other. All right, I mean, if I, if I can't, um, if I don't have any, if I don't have any way of changing any colors or anything, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, that is green. Okay. All right, maybe there, blah, 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 the figure of the young man was just like the one on the front of the fireplace. It couldn't be a coincidence. The youthful figure held a glowing blue orb in his hand. Looks like boys. We're gonna shatter all of these meters. It was a castle of saints. Castel de Saints. In Catalonia. It was a castle of saints. Yeah, you said that. Castel de Saints. You also said that. Alright, so... Ouroboros. A large Ouroboros dominated the center of the painting. Before he was killed, Simeon had said that the tree inside the Ouroboros represented hidden Gnostic knowledge. And here it was, a whole new image inside the snake. Well, <laughs> getting properly now, yawny, boys. He was dead. Oz was dead. Human tower is the last one. It was a tower of tormented souls. They looked like the damned. Tree of Perdition from Innistrad. All right, let's find some stuff, and then we can start plopping shit all over the place. But I'm fairly certain, I'm fairly certain that the, um, this thing is going to be the solution. But in the meantime, let's just go around collecting bollocks. The bookcase held an assortment of ancient books. Okay. There was a crate of brandy amongst all the mess. Okay. Crate of brandy is uh, apparently just full of inch. It was a collection of what could only be described as stuff. Okay. We do like a bit of this. Hey, look at this lad. There was a piece of stone on the ground. It looked like a discarded statue. Okay, a green statue. I wonder if the one in the fountain is blue. It was a shield on which heraldic symbols had been painted. The scroll under the shield read Olot. Oh, I hope we don't have to move all these shields. The scroll below the shield read Tremp. Oh, that's the original Donald Tremp's boy. Old Trempy boy back in the old days. Falls on a ruckus. What do we got here? Rubbles. There were spent bullet casings lying amongst the rubble. What exactly happened here? Someone got metal bean, didn't they? Oh, there's another statue. Okay.
The door I was, was going to say, I like how that guy was literally going to shoot me, and now I'm allowed to just wander in every room for the memes. It looked like this part of the castell had taken some damage. Ch this the end part. of the passage was blocked off with rubble. This part. Everything else looks pretty good, apparently. All right. That's about that for that. I'll go and grab the thing, and then we'll talk to everybody, which is going to be boring. But we might get to talk to Big Tits, which will be great. Maybe Big Tits and the other one will be getting on famously, like girls always do. So, until you came here, you knew nothing about the Castell? Didn't know, wasn't interested. I better get back on guard in case anyone else shows up. Your father needs our help, Piva. My father needs rest, peace, and quiet. Not more of this Gnostic nonsense. Yeah, we'll run around with a couple of guns. That'll solve it. So, what did you find out? That girl's definitely not pretty with me. Eva thinks her father's losing it. She doesn't have much time for Gnosticism. She's never been here before. In fact, Marquez never even talked about the place. As far as I can tell, she and her father never got on. She left home the moment she could. Hmm. I don't blame her. So why is she here now? Marquez begged her. Said he was in danger. I guess maybe I'll go inside and have a look around too. Who's in Tell here. me if you find anything. I'm not having much luck so far. What are you on about? You got like three busted statues, you silly bitch. And there's another one. And another one. Alright. Take this one. Alright, let's have a look at them first. Green statue. The green stone figure was barefoot and wearing a hat. Barefoot. It resembled the and statues a hat. in Marquez's family photo. Okay, boys. It was the lower half of a green, barefooted statue. Like the other one, this looked a lot like the statues in Marquez's family photograph. This guy is also barefoot, but he doesn't have a hat. The blue colored statue was robed with a bald head. And bare feet. I don't know if he's bald. A you third can't one tell. Resembling the ornaments in the family photograph. Just like you can't tell, this guy might be bald because he's got a hat on that completely bamboozles my soul, boyish. Absolute bamboozleage of baldness. Nobody would ever know. Oh, she put the gun down, but she is. She doesn't seem concerned that I'm stealing statues. Hello, Eva. Senor Stobart. Senor Please. Bobbage. Call me George. I'd rather not. When are you and your girlfriend leaving? Actually, she's not my girlfriend. She's not, I'm totally available. I don't know what your scam is, Senor. You may have fooled my father, but you don't fool me. Well, I can sure see where you get your manners from. All right. Okay, we'll go through the dialogues. What's the time? It's four o'clock already. I'll extend it by another half an hour, because I'm having a good time. Tell me about your father. When my mother died, he brought me up. As a Gnostic? <laughs> he tried to teach me that stuff. Said I had a religious vocation. Turns out I didn't. On my 18th birthday, I left home and never went back. Who's this slave? Tell me about Ramon. Apparently he worked here when he was a boy. A loyal servant, even though the family left and never came back. More fool him. How about you? How did you get such big bitch? Tell me about yourself. I left home as soon as I could, lived a bit, and now I own a bar in Marseille. Damn. That well, explains why slang. you know how to use a gun. No, senor. I learned how to use a gun so I could get rid of vermin. Eva was a real... charmer. What do you know about La Melodic Seal? My father has been obsessed by it all his life. He thinks it's full of secret messages. I think it's a crock of sh- Sure you do. Don't say the word shit in 2019, boys. Nico tells me you don't really know about Gnosticism. Don't know, don't care. And I don't need saints and gods telling me how to live my life. I can see why you and your father don't get along. So, you don't know anything about Gnostics? They're a Is that what you're sect. telling me, you they fucking bitch? In the past. My father's obsessed with them, 
And that's all I know. You're telling me you don't know who to fire you, you mech. What do you make of this? Have a look at this bullshit. What do you think? They're sketches of my father's painting. The artist paid for the knowledge with his life. Figures. That painting brings bad luck to everyone who gets near it. Uh, what else? He didn't give a shit about that a minute ago, did This he? is your family, right? Looks like it. How about this? Eva, meet Trevor. <laughs> you don't have a problem with him? No, my bar is full of them. Okay, boy. Uh, showing her a cockroach didn't loosen the pantaloons like we had all hoped. What about these? Do you know anything about this statue? I've seen a few of them lying around. I guess the fascists smashed them up in the war. What about this? Your father scribbled some notes on this photograph. So, we have the painting. What do you need a bad photograph for? True. What about this? Do these notes mean anything to you? Some old religious texts. So what? I was hoping you could help me so I wouldn't be the one who has to solve it. How about if I spray my balls with some of this? Does that mean we can be squeebling in front of the goat? I have this aftershave. What do you think? I think you should keep it to yourself. Alright, well fuck you then. I just noticed the sundial. Yeah, that might be important. I don't know why he's walked this way, but ne never mind. It was an old, weathered sundial. From the dial, I could see that the main doors of the house faced north. <sighs> oh, my lord. It's very rare that I get tired, boys. My premium Peruvian wish must be wearing out. Or maybe I should just use some more for the means. The wind chime was made from old tin cans and other rubbish. Tin cans and some old bitch shit. All right. Okay, boys. Dee 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 dee. All right, well, I, can't go. I can go back to the car, but what for? Let's do it. Just... There was no right. way I was going near I that. I guess he's again. not interested. All right, back inside. Talk to the old lads. Um, and then I suppose try and solve whatever the maker is. Senor, a word, please? Of course. Okay, so... Just uh, not uh, with me. Oh, what I mean, Ramon, man. sure was a little light in the charm department. What an absolute me, my lord, boys. What are you thinking, Nico? She's thinking... The fireplace. Why does that other girl have the bigger baps? It looks familiar. You're right. You know what? In Marquez's photo, his family was standing in front of it. Alright. I guess... We, I mean, it's it's obvious we're gonna have to crack at him at her. It was an ornate tree carved in bas-relief. Okay. Senor Marquez? Mr. Stobart? If we're going to find the tabula... Yes? Then you will have to help. Of course. I mean, by being totally honest with us. Oh, I don't know, boys. <laughs> when have I not been honest? You said you had won 55 Olympics, and that you definitely wasn't bald, dude. How do you have such a sex bomb daughter? And can you put in a good word? So, Eva is your daughter? She was a gift from God, late in my life. One day she will find room for Gnosticism in her heart. I am sure of it. What happened back in Paris? We thought you were dead. Yeah, that's true. A man came to the apartment looking for Miss Collard. He mentioned a stolen painting owned by a Russian. Obviously, I informed him that I was the true owner. Obviously. Next thing I knew, this thug had me pinned to a chair and was threatening to shoot me. So I told him of the castell. 
And while he telephoned his boss, I hit him with the little china dog. Guess he didn't know you were the pugnacious type. <laughs> what a gag. Why is the tabula veritatis? Can so it raise the devil or not? It is an object of immense power. Immense My power. My ancestors only... kept it safe for hundreds of years. They brought it to Catalonia as exiles long ago. In any generation, only one Gnostic knows its exact location. My father, Xavier, was the last of these. He knew dark forces were gathering, but Magic I gathering. was too young to learn the secret. So he commissioned La Malediction, embedding clues to the location of the tabula within the painting. Mm. It's a lot of this scorch, boys. Well, I think you probably have to get as much information uh, before you start putting these statues somewhere. Tell me about the painting. When I was a child, I would stand here for hours just staring at it. Who was the mysterious painter, El Serp, the serpent? And what did it mean, La Malediction, the curse? I asked my father, but he just told me to be patient. He said that one day I would know everything. Mm. One day some American schlag is going to come along and crackety matter. But it's not going to be me and fuck it. But at least you'll have a sexy door, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not for a dad. Senor, can you decipher any of the painting? The Tower of Saints, of course. I knew it was a castell. And the saints themselves are Gnostic. You see the woman in red? The one you marked in the photo? She is Mary Magdalene. We revere her as Christ's greatest disciple. The rest, I don't know. I only know the prostitute. The symbol on the but face, the rest. it is obviously the tabula. But the elements around it, I don't know. When were you last here, Signor? Not since that day when my father was killed. So why did the painting bring us here? As I said, because only here in this room will its clues become clear. But what is the tabula? What does it do? I do not know. I know only that in the wrong hands it would be catastrophic for mankind you have to imagine it is the boobaloid reduction uh thing that moses left behind this the 11th commandment thou shall reductath the boobage if they become too heavy and boyish if that were to happen i mean we need fallout 6 right on my head so you're the good guys no. Good and evil are meaningless terms. We strive simply to maintain balance and keep the tabula from those who seek to exploit it for their own ends. Exploit it how? He doesn't even know if we can increase the size of the boobage. What would be the point otherwise? You want your medal back? I think this is yours. My medallion? Where did you find it? It was left in Nico's neighbor's apartment. Do you want it back? No. Nah. You keep it. Nah, that uh, important family heirloom bollocks. A purpose. Perhaps you can find out what. Yeah, I'm not doing any work. Sure. I'm already bold. Just Fuck the whole thing. If you ever want it back. I'm already bold, son. Fuck it. You figure it out. Is this one of Nico's photographs of the robbery? Yes, she gave it to me. And did you write these notes on it? Yes, I was trying to solve part of the painting. Solve? I never knew what lay in that portion of La Maledicio. The photograph you have of my family, this part of the painting was missing. But once I saw the Tower of Saints, I knew I had to come here. Just as you did, senor. All right. Uh, there's, I don't think there's anything to be done. You should get back to it. 
we are going to have to solve this. And uh, straight away, you know how normally I like to think I'm two, two steps ahead. I do think the window is important, but I haven't got any idea where we're, what we're doing. An old man with a beard was carved into the front of the fireplace. It was very like one of the figures in La Maledizio. Okay, what about the fireplace? Is she going to get half in and then get stuck? And I going to turn into Stone my stepsister got stuck in the bin dusty. or something? It looked like it had lain undisturbed for decades. My stepsister tried to get the washing out of the washing machine, but she put her whole body in and now only her ass is sticking out. Derek's favorite subplot of all of the pornos. Okay, there's nothing. I do think... Marquez said that the painting contained clues only a Gnostic... I do saw. think... But when it was back... I in might room, have all the all ingredients to solve it, but I don't know what I'm doing, honestly, boy. So, a green statue. That looks like this dude. That was never gonna happen. Okay, I wanted him to say it looks like him, but I don't know why I would put it here. Why? Like, what am I doing? I, uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. All right, now the blue guy. I mean, it could be either. There, but these could be any of these. I don't even know what I'm trying. All right, face forward. It's not right then. How about face inward? No, not with the arm that way. Hmm. Maybe this is wrong. Without anything on it, I was achieving nothing. Shut up, you fucking ballant. So maybe it's this one without an arm. No, because the other one's got a right arm as well. Okay, boys. Officially, I'm starting to crack any meter. And by that, I mean, I'm starting to not know what I'm doing. Which is good, my chicks. Hmm. So, we'll see if that's... So, aiming that way blue. The painting held all the answers. Uh, but a hubbly bubbly boyish, Mary Magdalene, the prostitute bitch, who never mind doing an OnlyFans, became a fully knighted Mima. It was a castle of saints, Castel de Saints, in Catalonia. Okay, buildings, a man. I genuinely don't even know, like, I'm not, am I pressing the painting? That's not what you're supposed to do. None of this is anything. So it's just put statues on here and spin them around. Oh, that's bullshit. I didn't, that wasn't, I didn't even know what I was doing. Ah, what is this? Staircase. I never knew. Boys. We must go up. We don't have much time. I guess better being lucky than being good. But don't tell stairs. anybody. Stairs. Always stairs. Oh my god, look at this. Jules? Jules? Hmm. What's this? A piece of burnt paper with the word Wolfram. That sounds familiar. Wolfram? Does it sound familiar? Wolfram. I curse that name forever. Wolfram and Hart from what Angel. What do you know about Wolfram, senor? Wolfram. I spit on the name. So you have lived here for a long time? <laughs> That's All not my life. Didn't. My father served here before me. In fact, he named me after Senor Xavier's favorite saint, Saint Ramon. Saint Patron Saint Razor Ramon. Of the falsely accused. That's nice. Not really. The Moors put a padlock through his mouth. All right, well, that's that guy then. Oh, I see. Well, I guess there's a lesson there for all of us. So that's Ramon here, if ever that's important. What is Wolfram? It was a mining company, run by a murdering swine called Ganon. In the Civil War, they backed the fascists. In return, 
Genin was given soldiers to do his dirty work. They came here, brought their bloody war to this house, and killed Senor Xavier. Xavier, Abel Xavier. They shot Xavier? Senor Marquez's father? I was just a boy, but I remember like it was yesterday. Shot him and his friend Hernandez like animals. Why did they come here? They were searching for something, but they brought death with them. But there is one thing I have never understood. Javier tried to escape through the library. But the library windows are barred. It is a dead end. Okay, boyish. Well, I guess it's not a dead end if we shatter the matter properly. This Kenan, who was he? He was Swiss, a businessman, and a murdering swine. So what did he want here? I don't know. When he wasn't torturing the locals, he disappeared to the library. Spent weeks in there. Weeks, boyish! Making notes and studying maps. Mm, that's what he said His he was men, doing. They crossed the whole of Catalonia searching for something. Did they find it? Who knows? One day, Ganon just disappeared. He never came back. He never came back, An accident, back, perhaps, boy. in the mountains. May his soul rot in hell. The soldiers didn't stay long to search for him. They hated him, too. The name Genan was familiar. He was the person who had tried to buy La Maladexio. A coincidence? Perhaps. He might still there be alive, no Lance. There is such as coincidence. Ganon is gonna shatter the So, myth. when the soldiers left, you took back the house? Yes. A few years later, I returned and cleaned the place up. It broke my heart. I locked the library. I could not bear to touch Ganon's papers. Can I have a look at the library? No. I have kept it locked to honor the memory of Senor Xavier. Please, this is important. I lost the key. Oh, it was his fault the whole time it? trying to get away with it. That evening when I locked it up, I drank to the memory of Senor Xavier. The cellars were well stocked, Senora. It was a long night. I hid the key, then forgot where I hid it, so it is lost. That was all that was left in the morning. I haven't touched a drop since. What an absolute I needed Lloyd. to find out what Ganon had been working on in that library. All right, yeah, we'll just leave these boys. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it's fine. Georges, are you there? The grate had locked back into place. All right, if how about we just fuck about with it? Does it not open? I decided to leave nope, the painting I guess for not. later. We gotta find the Nazi papers. We gotta find the Nazi papiers, boys. I wonder if they're behind one of these shields. That is a bit wonky, there that one. There was a row of shields displaying heraldic symbols. The scroll under the shield read, Trump. Donald Trump, boys, he was fated to be the leader of the universe the whole time. The hall had collections of old items everywhere. Ramon claimed he had tidied the place up. Hmm. I mean, didn't even unroll the rug. What a slag. Also, I don't know why that fireplace opened, so I, I wouldn't count that as me solving that puzzle. I don't know if it was a puzzle. I don't even know why it opened, still. Anyway, that's somebody else's problem. The door was locked. Okay. I had to find the key. Alright. I wondered where Ramon could have hidden it. Where could he have put it if it wasn't inside his own anus? An intricate mosaic adorned the floor. Okay. 
I suppose that's not a puzzle in itself. What about the rubbleage? The plants at least were thriving in the rubble. The rubble bubbles. Courtyard. The internal courtyard had been beautiful once. Mm -hmm. Even overgrown like this, it had a serenity. Serenity. All right. Uh, what was that? Roofs. The castle was vast. But most of it was now inaccessible. Okay. Hmm. So I haven't got anything either. How about you mop up the floor? That wouldn't make sense. I mean, it always makes sense for a woman to do the mopping. <laughs> Am I right, lads? <laughs> Un. Believable stuff. Let's call the police. My phone had no service. Fuck it. Uh, what kind of a place are we living in? S plastic card with chewing gum still. Let's see if we can shatter the matter. I needed to find the key. How about you do the put the credit card down the middle, which never ever worked in real life, but worked all the time in the films. You know what I mean, boys? What else can we do? Chewing guard on the mosaic? No. I needed a better idea. Okay, well, we sh mop on the floor. Oh, maybe the idea, daughter knows. But wouldn't have worked. Maybe the daughter knows what's going on. And as always, two sexy women, they always get along. No way are they ever catty to each other. So. Yeah, it must be outside. She's still got her shooting boots on. According to the sundial, it was mid-afternoonish. Ah ha ha ha, boys! Maybe it's in the car because the car door could open. A beautiful stained glass window had survived the attack so many years ago. The car door could open, but Georgie boy didn't want to go inside, so maybe. Maybe that's how we shatter these matters. Eva, I am glad your father is safe. He's old and foolish. He shouldn't be here, but he wouldn't listen to me. I suppose he's still going on about that painting. Yep. Well, yes. In fact, we decoded it. You did? I decoded yes. it. We found a secret passage behind the fireplace. What? Your father and Georges went in. What? That's ridiculous. He's an old man. Don't worry. Georges knows what he's doing. So he always tells me anyway. I decoded it, boys. I decoded it as well as if I just plopped two fucking shits on the floor and twiddled them around like I was trying to get radio aids on a girl's nips. Which is why I'm very good at, uh, at the old nipple place, boys. Have a look at my mop. I didn't think she'd be interested. Boys, insane. I didn't think she'd be interested. <sighs> Who isn't interested? What woman's not interested in a mop? This game is so stupid. Your father is looking very frail. He's old, and he could do without people giving him the runaround chasing lost treasure. I thought that she hated her dad, but boy, it's always sad to see an old man and chains or something. Have you ever been inside the library? No, I'm told it is locked. The key is lost. Ramon says he hid it years ago and cannot remember where. Shame. Shame. Fuck it, though. Seen anything suspicious? How about these? Apart from you and your American boyfriend. They're no. suspiciously He's awesome. He's not my boyfriend, you know. Whatever. Whatever. I know you sucked his dick on the train over here. Can you think of anywhere Ramon might have hidden the key? What do you think I am, psychic? Talk to you later. Fuck it. <laughs> that was funny. That was quite a good ending. All right. I think it's the car. I think it's the car. It's the only place that still had something, like the car door. All right, boys? So, let's see if I if a goat will respond to my shakshi boobs and just let me go inside. What a lad. Literally not even bothered. Incredible scenes.
that goat was literally charging that man's balls the whole time. But her... Peachy quench. All right, let's beat the horn for the meech. Nope, oh, we can't beat the horn. Look at this classic magic. The dashboard seemed intact, but this old family car would never drive again. What a shame. A 5D71. Extraordinary. Mm hmm. Super An shoes. An old pair of shoes. The key's definitely in it. The floor of the car was littered with keys from sardine cans. Gross. Someone had been sleeping in the car, but long, long ago. In amongst the rubbish on the car floor was an old brandy bottle. Must have been the last time this guy ever went a full wish. Does that say Ramon on the front? I picked up what looked like an old diary. It was Ramon. It was Ramon. The library will forever be a shrine. No one will enter. I shall hide the key in a safe place. Once I've eaten. I have just what I need and know what to do. Oh, beautiful lady, your eyes are so blue. I just can't stop thinking of you. Hmm, Ramon was quite the budding poet. This guy was wanking Our off those statues. Our lives are like ivy on a tree. That is what you mean to me. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. Hey, I was reading that. Boy, that goat is a full memer. Clearly a memeloid. The inside of the car was in a bad state. Uh-huh. Tin can keys. Who was eating the sardines? Oh, he was. So he must have eaten these sardines and then done what? Have a wank? Maybe it's in the lining. What can I use to pick up pick up the key and scratch the lining? Although she doesn't seem that interested in doing that. An old pair of shoes. All right, I'll try them. Oh, maybe this. No, that would never have worked. Never have worked, boy. What about the mop? That wouldn't work. It wouldn't work, you idiot. Okay, boys, we'll share three meters. I want to pet the goat now that it seems totally placid. Have you no respect for great art? Pretty indigestible, huh? Oh, it's not going to shit out, is it? Hello, little one. Look at this lad. Unbelievable memeloid. Incredible meme. So I'm 100% sure it's in the car. Uh, maybe I have to speak to the old man first. A pile of old apples. Oh, maybe that's why he's Looks not violent, because like he's eating. Been eating lots of them. Yeah, maybe it's drunk. Maybe it did get fermentation sensation. The goat had been tethered. Seemed unnecessary. The gentle animal wouldn't have harmed us all. Well, that's what they said about OJ, boys. But we know how that ended up. He didn't do anything. That's how it ended up. He just went home like a regular lad, and it was framed. Alright, uh, she's not going to know. He might know. I'll ask him. So, you have no idea what you did with the key? All I remember is waking up in the old car. I just had a look at that old car in the garden. Looks like someone slept in it. Me. When I returned, I couldn't bear the house at night. So, I slept in the car. Oh, man, I thought we were going to get some... I thought we were going to get some clues or something. Does this mean anything to you? A mop? Does a mop mean anything to you? Should it? Mop the floor, you old bastard. Does this mean anything to you? I'm a journalist, you know. Should it? Oh, well, fuck you. Give me the gun. Give me the gun! Okay, boys. Um... Alright. Uh, I don't know, then. What have I missed? What There's either something I've missed. I had been using it to clean up Adam's apartment. In the rush to escape, I must have left it in my pocket. 
There's even like something I missed. Made by the same company. Or I had enough information to solve. No, that would never have worked. I had enough information to solve the car thing already. It was a nice idea, but wouldn't have worked. Hmm. I wonder if I. I mean, she didn't want to touch anything here. Hmm. Okay, boyish. Uh, have I checked here? And the books, There was maybe? a crate of brandy amongst the mess in the Great Hall. Apparently, Ramon drank them all. Must have been some night. He must have been memeing it right up. The bookcase held old Catalan books. I wouldn't be able to read them. I can't read, boyish. I spent too much time selling my tits on only wench. The hall had collections of old items everywhere. Alright, let's mop them up. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Just to take the womanly role and clean the place no, up. That would never have worked. Okay. We already done that. Alright. Okay. Oh boy. Shh. So what can I do? I tried everything with the lining already. I'll speak to the girl one more time. It's in the lining. I'm sure. It's the only thing that made sense. He said he was going to have dinner and then hide the key. And he had. it looked like he had dinner of tin sardines. Yes? And then went to bed. Are you sure you can't think of where Ramon might have hidden the key? No, and neither do I care. I don't give a fuck about anything. I'm just trying Stop to shoot someone anything. and maintain these enormous babbage. Or oh, not enormous. Boys, let's not get too carried away. Okay, so there's nowhere else to go. It's just the car. There's nothing in or on the car that can do anything. Let's mop the goat. Let's fucking antagonize it. See if it just smashes a hole in the wall. No, that wouldn't be good for the good. Mm hmm Can't do anything with the tire, either. Or maybe. That wouldn't happen. Yeah, it wouldn't do anything. No, that wouldn't be good for the good. Okay, well, we sh I just haven't got enough items. So it's the line. I'm sure it's the lining. The inside of the car was in a bad state. Okay. No. I needed a better idea. Okay. That wouldn't have worked. Hmm. No. I needed a better idea. Maybe it's in the shoe. An old pair of shoes. No. The radio. Hi guys, Richie Bob here and welcome to Radio Yorkshire. Today we'll be talking to none other than George Stobart. Hey George, thanks for joining us. What the us fuck today. is going on? It's a pleasure. Thanks for inviting me on. So we're going full silent hill. To Paris all those years ago. I was getting over a breakup. I thought Paris would be a good place to recover. Peaceful, foreign, exotic, and with so many beautiful women. Who are you? If that explosion had never happened, what do you think he would be doing now? I'd probably be a lawyer, you know, making lots of money. Of course, doing work for the greater benefit of mankind. Beautiful wife, 2.3 beautiful children, a pet, maybe a goat. Have you ever thought about changing your beautiful hairstyle? I wonder if this is an Easter egg. Actually, uh, I have already. Uh, a number of times. Five, in fact, I think. What is your definition of happiness? Ginormous batch, boys. Obviously, that's the only answer. That's the only answer. Yeah, an achievement for using the radio. It was never going to work. <laughs> the battery would have died decades ago. Yeah, but how did it just work now? Full silent hillage. It was a nice idea. But wouldn't have worked. It fucking did work. This girl's got full amnesia. And now we have some callers with questions. Alright, I don't want to do that again, though. Okay, first on the line we have Chris Gissing. 
Okay, this must be Easter eggs. You're rushing into a burning building, and you can only save either a goat or Andre Lobino. Who do you pick? All right, I don't know who Andre Lobino is. The dumb animal or the stupid one? It's a toss-up, but I suppose the goat would be easier to carry. Oh, gee. Well, I'm not doing that again. Uh, I don't know how to crack any... I'm certain it's in here. I'm certain it's there. The inside of the car was in a bad state. But she's just not cracking Demeter Bullish. I don't know. This is pure point-and-click madness. Just keep doing the same thing, thinking it's going to work, when it obviously isn't. Oh! Oh! I didn't notice the blanket. Someone had been sleeping in the car, but long, long ago. Oh, it's not even interactable, really. I needed to try something else. Uh-huh. No. I needed a better idea. Oh, gee, boy. How the fuck are we gonna crack on these mattress? Tin can keys. But she doesn't pick them up. It was a nice idea, but wouldn't have worked. Mm -hmm. Anyone got any ideas? Without cheating, of course. No. That would never have worked. No cheating, but what do you think? Well, it was what I go. Uh -huh. <laughs> that wasn't worth trying. <laughs> no, that would never have worked. It would never have worked. Okay. I needed to try something else. <laughs> the dashboard seemed intact, but this old family car would never drive again. Uh, for a second, I thought maybe the middle one being missing was was something. That wouldn't work. Calm down. All right. I don't know. Oh, pillow, maybe. An old and very dubious pillow. Oh, dubious boy. That's why she's been wanking off on that. I needed to try something else. That wouldn't... All right. Fucking balls. How do I get out? An old and... Yeah, you said that. Can the goat hit the car? How would I antagonize the goat? How could we antagonize the goat? Oh, then apple, but she doesn't get... An she doesn't have any apple apples. Provided shade. Shame that the goat's rope wasn't long enough for him to enjoy it. All right. The goat had been tethered. Can't touch the rope. It might be that the goat has to charge the car, but the goat is placid now. That wouldn't happen. It was a nice idea, but wouldn't have worked. I wonder if I can shake the tree. I can't. That wouldn't make sense. Hmm. Now are we shattering this one, boys? A pile of old apples. Mm, she doesn't want to pick them up or sweep them up. No, that would never have worked. The goat had been tethered. Hmm. Hmm. What is the matter here, boyish? I wonder if there's something I've just flat missed. An old apple tree provided shade. I'm a hundred percent sure. The mountains of Catalonia. Breathtaking. A hundred percent sure that the key's inside the car. But she just won't put her hand in the... She won't put her hand in her pants. Hmm. Alright, the fountain. The fountain had dried up long ago. But not like my minch. My minch is ready to go, boys. 
The sundial. Alright, let's just fuck up the sundial for the memes. That wasn't worth trying. Okay, well, I'm glad it's just, it's just she's not even bothered. I needed to try something else. Okay. The wilderness. The garden was now an overgrown wilderness. Mm -hmm. You're not going there? Nope. A beautiful stained glass window. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Maybe, so maybe this thing. Ago. Maybe the wind chime. The wind chime looked like it was made from old cans. I wondered if it was Ramon's handiwork. Okay, go and have a look. Oh, boys, we might have crack on meters. Maybe it's in one of these cans. Maybe it's in one of these cans. The tuna one, right? I would think this one. The sardine. The old sardine can was bulging slightly. Uh oh I fished around. There was something in it. Boys, you know you think of what I'm thinking? And there it was. The key to the library. Unbelievable stuff. So it wasn't in the car. I am very smart, though. I'm going to keep looking in that thing. I mean, it's super unlikely there's anything else. Ah, uh, to think the key was there all along. All right, I guess that was it. Ah. Uh, yeah, fuck it. All right, well, we got it. We crack any meters, boys. All right, we'll go in the room. We'll fuck about. It's nearly five o'clock. We'll end at five on the dot then. But I am having a wonderful time, Lanch. I hope you're enjoying this too. Even though there is not that many massive boobaloids, which, you know, it's not the greatest. But we got our fair share of boobies today with that new Magic the Gathering girl, who the door was locked. still, bizarre to me that her very first foray into the game, oh, she was playing Sparky though, so maybe she wasn't part of the Thunder Junction pre-release. She was playing Thundermore Junction. Or I should say she was playing Sparky. Hmm, whatever. Hopefully Ramon she sticks around. Ramon had been true to his word. This place was like a shrine. Not a very good one. Okay, boys, what's in the big chest? The trunk contained someone's personal possessions. At a guess, Genans. I wondered what secrets they might hold. Boys, I don't know about you, but he might have been Indiana Jones. A pair of well-worn boots. Well-worn boots? Put the hat on. Everybody knows cosplay Thunder Junction hats are all the rage at the moment. The hat looked battered and old. Battered. I wondered if it had belonged to the mysterious Genan. I wonder if Genan's dead or if he's like a zombie man or something. There's bound to be some crazy shit at the end. A couple of old faded shirts, neatly folded. Must be DSP bullsh. We've got a map. A map of somewhere. The map had interesting markings and scribbles all over it. I must have been where it was lit. George would be so jealous. Meanwhile, boyish. So, what is this place, senor? Oh, he doesn't look in a good state. It is my family's chapel. Oh, he's all right. It's not like any chapel I ever saw. Where's the altar, the crucifix, the Christian symbols? And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It tells a story. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars, and their escape from the hilltop fortress of Monsegur with the Tabula Veritatis. From under the very noses of the soldiers of the Albigensian Crusade. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Who are the Cathars? And, and what have they got to do with the tabula? The Cathars were Gnostics. Looks like a Wes Wally. They lived in the south of France in the 12th century, at peace with the Jews and the Catholics of the Languedoc. They preach that men and women are crazies. People. They were crazy God lads. Is within you, and that the church is an obstacle to salvation. The Pope found their core beliefs abhorrent, 
The Cathars accused him and his church of corruption. He condemned them as heretics. When the Pope learned that they were the guardians of the Tabula Veritatis, he conspired with the King of France and called for a holy war to wipe them out. The Albigensian Crusade was a callous, ruthless massacre. The final confrontation took place here at Montségur in 1244. The Crusaders believed that they had slaughtered all the heretics, but a handful managed to escape with the tabula. They traveled south across the Pyrenees along secret trails. They brought the tabula here to Catalonia to be hidden once more. Secret trails, boys. Sounds Sadly, like the classic Jew tunnel of New York. Of their if you would believe the, the means. Spanish Inquisition saw to that. Nevertheless, for generations, my ancestors continued to guard the secret of the tabula. So you understand why La Maledizio is important to me. It will lead us to the tabula again, so we can keep it safe from those who wish to abuse its power. The painting brought us up here, Senor. We need to find out why. It didn't really bring us up. I was fiddling around with those fucking statues and got lucky. Alright, what was that? It was a large marble statue of a young man holding some sort of colored glass lens. Okay, boy, These statues... They're the ones from the Maledixies. They're just like the figures in the painting. And on the fireplace. Indeed. They are the two pillars of the Gnostic faith in harmony. Aids the and boots. one is Yahweh, Jehovah, God of the physical world. The other is known by many names. Helel, Ishtar. He is the bearer of light. Luxfere. Lucifer. Lucifer? So, you guys are devil worshippers? No. When he is in balance with Jehovah, Lucifer is the god of desire and ambition, driving humans to be inquisitive, to discover, to advance. Just as Jehovah, when he is in balance with Lucifer, is the god of order. Jehovah stands for selflessness and altruism. Gnostics worship the harmony of both gods in balance. But what if one were to rule without the other? If Jehovah ruled without Lucifer, then individuality would be surrendered. Mankind would be wholly conformist, mindlessly dependent, mere Pawn I wonder if that's what's going on now, boys. I'm sure someone's going to tell me it's all about the vaccine. Jehovah. Ambition and desire would be transformed into unbridled greed, and man would lust only for wealth and power. But what about Society Bush? would descend into chaos. Disorder and war would prevail. Then, Lucifer would be the devil indeed. We gotta keep it Barclays balanced, boyish. I don't know if I can. I'm just saying. Whoever side promotes just abnormally huge knockers, then I'm on for it. I'm on for it, boyish. I didn't know tits could get so big. I didn't know high street tits could be so massive before Twitter. But now I know. Boyish. Now I've seen the light. I might eventually become like a Jehovah's Witness myself. I'm just knocking on people's doors. Have you seen the glory of ginormous tits today? I'm sure I'll get in trouble eventually, but it would be worth it. Vice Admiral Jean says, sorry to ruin the fun with age, but how's the new Magic set? I mean, it's always the same on a new set, especially if you play Brawl like I do. I'm sure it's shaken up standard, obviously, but I, don't, I genuinely never touch standard. It does look like we've got a lot of good cards, though. And that's... that's something, right? That's something. 
I don't know if Brawl is going to be broken because Mana Drain is extremely strong. Mana Drain being in Brawl is going to go in every deck regardless. Also, Reanimate. We never got round to playing a Reanimate in the Croxa deck. Remind me next time we play Majik that I got to do that. But for now, the Candelabrum. Let's see what's going on here. It was a candelabrum holding a single candle. All right. Oh, I've got, uh, shits. Easy quick. Just what this place needed. Bit of mood lighting. If only I had a few scatter cushions. Literally made absolutely no difference. But I forgot I've got so many, uh, items. Like Nico's only got one. Okay, side mirror. I wonder if I can use the side mirror on these glass lenses. I'm pretty sure I didn't want to burn that. Well, I'm not sure. I've got H. Side mirror. I'm pretty sure I didn't want to burn that. All right. Boys, it's time for the ritualistic sacrifice of cockroachy McGee. Some say cockroach tasted like cooked chicken. I didn't intend to find out. I didn't say eat it. I said burn him. Burn the land. For the good of Jesus and Lucifer. All right, I'm gonna look out the window. Light streamed through the window onto a lens. Okay, is owner is just gonna be the most basic shit. Marquez had told me that this statue was of Jehovah. The Jehovah Lich. Okay, boys. What about this? This is sort of glass. I wonder if it bounces off the light. That wasn't worth trying. It definitely was, but you can suck my balls. What are we doing? Set the yarn on fire. I've had this I'm for ages. I'm sure I didn't want to burn that. This for ages. Paperclip set it on fire for the means. I'm pretty sure I didn't no, want to burn that. That's not right either. Hobbs's sketch. I think it's got it. It's obviously something to do with the lens. That was never going to work. So he doesn't want to grab him. It was a glass wheel divided into six colors. And it looked like it could be rotated. Part of the lens was covered. Okay, are you doing it or what? He is doing it. Okay, boys. Unfortunately, I show but a but a bit of so it was green on this side, wasn't it? Aha! I know what to do. This thing. That wouldn't have worked. It literally looks exactly like what's supposed to go there, you stupid asshole. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. The color changed from yellow to green. Okay, so I think it's supposed to be green, but how do I take the cover I off? I removed the small leather cover to reveal a crude crystal lens. Okay, you Colored just took it off. Colored light streamed through and shone onto the fresco. All right, I think that's right. And the other one should be blue. It was a glass wheel, just like the one held by the other statue. Part of the lens was covered. All right, we'll fucking fix it. Okay, take this off. Easy quick. The color changed from yellow to green. All right, blue is the right one, I think. The color changed from green to turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue. All right, we didn't hear a click or anything, so maybe it's not as easy as that. Oh, it's fucking all gibberish. The fresco deserved a proper examination. The fresco was surrounded by dusty inscriptions. My Latin was a little rusty, but I could still translate. Ex igne puritas, from fire, purity. Ex luce veritas, from light, truth. Ex labore sapientia, from struggle, knowledge. Oh, fucking bollocks. Okay, this seems like a proper puzzle then. Town, town, town. Oh, they've all got symbols on. Oh my lord, boys. This is going to be a proper poosley. A town of northern Catalonia. Knights of the Albigensian Crusade. Cathars being burned at the stake. Unfortunate. Cathars being burned at the stake. Who are these lads stealing all the shit? Cathars fleeing across the Pyrenees to escape the slaughter of the Albigensian Crusade. All right, I thought they were they thieves. They seem to be carrying something. But they're doing the means, boys. They're running off. What about these lads, though? 
Cathars fleeing across the Pyrenees to escape the slaughter of the Albigensian Crusade. They seem to be carrying something. <laughs> A town of northern Catalonia. Cathars. They seem to be. All right, they seem to be carrying something. All right, so that's not right, I suppose. A <sighs> mountain fortress of Montsegur burning after its capture by the Crusaders. Okay, so maybe it's time for this. Maybe this is the one. And thus spoke the balls. In this ritual we find suck my balls. Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, towards the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, somebody else does something else. A uh, tree of life. All should know that the light of knowledge is blue and that the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. Pure light, white light. So I have to mix them to become white, is that it? Classic magic. That's what wizards would have, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, you have to mix them to become white. How do you make white out of colors? I mean, that's impossible. Okay, boys. The color changed from green to tur it won't the color be turquoise. Changed from turquoise to blue. The color changed from blue to magenta. Magenta. The eh? color changed from magenta to red. All right. I'll put it on red, just for the memes. Blue and green are the only ones mentioned, though. Maybe I should put the other one. The green. color changed from blue. The color changed from magenta to red. All right, if they're both red, I wonder what happens. It just looks like a mess. Yeah, it's just a mess. <laughs> okay, we'll try blue and green in the opposite order. The color changed from red. The color changed from yellow to green. Okay. So you can't make white. Like, yellow and something doesn't make white. Does it, boys, or am I stupid? The color changed. The color changed. The color changed from green. The color changed from turquoise to blue. Okay. Well, it's just fucking bollocks. Tiago says maybe the candle. It was a candelabrum holding a single candle. Okay. The candle was lit. Okay. Well, maybe you're right. I still think it's something else. A side mirror, maybe? I'm pretty sure I didn't want to burn that. Okay, he's only saying he's burning things. Maybe we boo maybe we burn the paper. I'm pretty sure I didn't want to burn that. Okay, pretty sure we didn't want to burn that. But we how about we burn the medallion? Oh, for a second I thought he was actually doing it. Oh, he is doing it! Red light from the medallion fell onto the fresco, mixing with the other colored light. It meant something, but I didn't know what. Okay, boys, we'll go back. We'll start blue and shit and red. So this should be green. The color changed. Oh, fucking the color it, hurry changed. up. The color changed. The color changed from yellow okay. to... Okay, green. And blue. Only because they're the colors from downstairs. The color changed from green to turquoise. I'm going to try turquoise, because you never know. Maybe turquoise was the actual color. Red light from the medallion fell onto the fresco, mixing with the other colored light. All right. Probably blue is the right fucking thing, then. The color changed from turquoise... Okay. Now, let's see if this is the answer to all of life's problems. Amazing. Amazing, boys. He's showing the path. The path of the Bonzon. The Bonzons. The sacred trail my ancestors took across the Pyrenees, carrying the Tabula Veritatis from Montsegur across the mountains to this town. And which town is that? I don't know. That I cannot answer. Athletic but Madrid. its coat of arms is quite distinctive. Athletic but How does it bring us closer to the Tabula? 
He tells us the route the tabula took 800 years ago. I think that's all we're going to find up here. All right, boys, we shan't any matters. We should return to the hall. Just in time. Eva will be getting worried. For Eva's boobies. All right, that's enough of this. I thought, again... I thought, again, we were going to just have a short couple of hours of streamage, but how long has this been? Five and a half hours, boys, okay. of having we a wonderful time. Okay, we found the route of the Bonds Arm Trail. How does it help us? It must somehow relate to the painting. <coughs> oh, Papa, he's getting are you quacked. Crazy? What are you doing? I'm fine. Don't fuss. You got me out here to look after you, so let me do it. Ramon is outside keeping watch. Georges, I'm glad you're safe. What did you find? We There's found a the secret beach. chapel above the fireplace. But it's not your average everyday chapel. It's a Gnostic chapel. All laid out for worshipping not one god, but two. What? I'll tell you when we have more time. You know, I found some things too, which might connect with all that. Come to the library. Oh, uh, could you bring the painting? I think we're going to need it. Boys, we're gonna shatter the matters. Man, this reminds me of my dad, you know. Although he wasn't bald. He did have a moustache like that, though. What an absolute lad. Anyway, that's enough of this for tonight. How far are we into the game? It's usually less than I think. Yeah, 65. Still a lot to go. 8 hours and 43 minutes. Only 65% in. Alright, boys! I had a wonderful time, dee dee dee. Did you see the GoFundMe request for the upcoming Broken Sword? I did see that. Uh, I don't think it's a GoFundMe for the game. It's a GoFundMe for the physical game. So you can get, like, a Steelbook edition and some other stuff. So, um, yeah, you can get a physical copy. But the game is going to get made, no matter what. Anyway, boys. Uh, I had a wonderful time. I'm also with you, Tiago, that the shields uh, in the room are going to match up with that place, so we know where to go next. Anyway, boys, I hope you had a good time. I hope you rub your balls, and we should all rejoice that we found a four foot nine bundle of boobage who hopefully starts cracking Demetra. Until next time, uh, GG, Shakespeare.